All right. <clears throat> Jimmy said, what's up? What up, Jimmy? How you doing? I am a little behind. I forgot that I I cleared the cache on my computer to help it run a little faster, a little better, and it wiped out some of the settings that I use for <laughs> for uh, StreamYard. So I had to log back in. And then I forgot that I didn't have my headphones, so I had to get my headphones. So it took me a moment. Jimmy said, what's up? KB says, howdy. Jack says, we're glad you made it back safe and sound. Me too. FCB, he said, what's up, Dash and Chat? How you doing this evening? All right. So I want to say you know the routine by now. If you are so inclined, this is going to be a, or it could possibly be a group <laughs> uh, ch chat, a group discussion. If you are so inclined, Tito, how you doing, man? Tito says, uh, greetings. Vince, Vincent, says, first time here. All right, well, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And so what it is is you're going to need a second job to pay for all that electricity you use in your car during your trip. So, you know, it's funny, right? I can tell you exactly how many kilowatts I, I won't say I used, but exactly how many kilowatts I at least used at Electrify America Chargers. So, y'all know what time it is. Oh, yeah. Look, it, this is, oh, yeah. Woo. We are, we are ready to have a good discussion this evening. So I am about to pour some in the cup, and I have, this is my last, this wasn't even my last free one, but my last drink from Panera. I am no longer in the sip club, so I don't get the drinks for free. My membership has expired. So time to pour on up. Yes, indeed. Let's see here. So I'm rocking Crimson Creek Smokehouse shirt this is oh this is the one with the the deep eddy logo it's so nice and comfortable and and roomy uh yeah jimmy 100 it is you know i i keep it i keep it 100 i keep it 100 i keep it a buck all right for real mm. so we're gonna pour i'm shooting for eight ounces so one cup we're gonna i'm shooting for eight, eight ounces in this into my up here man there were three cups and oh that little extra pour took me just under but i was right at two cups that is the extent john says hey dash what up john how you doing this evening rolling smoke so what's up everybody How's everyone doing? How was everyone's week? I apologize. Last week should have been when we got together and did this live discussion. But you guys know I was in Austin and enjoying the company of, well, enjoying being in the company of Marcus and Jamie. Texas owes me nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Marcus and Jamie owe me nothing. So thank you very much for um you know, hanging out. And tomorrow I have a, I'll say a treat for you guys, but I have the first part of the, the few. And I, I I won't even lie to you and tell you I took really good videos because I didn't. Um, Susie said, I had some Puerto Rican moonshine that was in the ground for a year in the coconut. I was scared to drink it, but it turned out to be amazing. You know, it's so funny. Um, of course, you know, my guy set me up. He knew I was going to be going to Austin, and he set me up with um with a little extra. So while I was down there, I met some Canadians, and um I just so happened to have. So we we all right. I, I don't even know how to start this. So I'm I'm hanging out at the trailer, and I think this was on Sunday. This must have been on Sunday. It was on Sunday, and there were there were a lot of kids in the trailer. And when I say kids, there's there's four or five high school kids that work with Jamie and Marcus uh, on Saturdays and Sundays for the most part. So they're in the trailer and Jamie's in the trailer 
And I'm kind of like standing like still because I'm like, all right, I know the best place to be is standing still while I'm talking to Jamie and while I'm talking to the kids, um, you know, kind of watching everything that's going on. So then I was like, all right, you know, there's too many people in here and it's getting too damn hot in this trailer. I'm going to go outside. So I went outside and I, you know, it was me being me. I started talking to people. So I met up or I started talking to, to Canadians. So I talked to the Canadians and, and we get to talking and um, the the Canadian was telling me that he was, or uh, so there was a father, a son, and then a, a guy and his wife. And come to find out the father worked with the guy. And of course the wife was there with the husband. And then the son was the son of the father. So the father was talking about how he, you know, was trying to get some mushrooms, some psilocybin mushrooms, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh man, I can't help you there. But, you know, if I had my vehicle with me, I said, I, you know, I might have a, I might be able to give you a little bit of moonshine, get you drunk. I can't get you, you know, like, like spacing out on sh- shrooms or anything, but I can get you drunk. So, um, you know, fast forward to the next day and we deliver food to this. It was like a, like a wedding reception type deal where there were, there was people who got married and they ordered barbecue from Jamie, Jamie and Marcus. And when we took the food to them, I, I'm like, you know, we get out the, and I get out of my car. Marcus got out of his truck because we drove, drove, drove separately. And I look over at Marcus. We're walking up towards the house, and I look over at Marcus. I'm like, yo, those are Canadians. Like, I spent about a half an hour talking to the Canadians yesterday. And, you know, I'm like, good conversation, all this stuff, but ended up giving him some moonshine. And the, the, the whole thing was, you know, he drank, and he was like, oh, man, this is, this is not bad, blah, blah, blah. And there was a woman there who, and I, all, I say all of this to say, Susie, there was a woman there who, when when I was telling her, I was like, "Yeah, you know, it's like hundred proof moonshine." She was like, "Oh my gosh!" And then you know, she she kept talking about how, "Oh my god, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so." Uh, put a little bit over ice, and she sipped it. And she was like, "Oh, oh, that's not bad. That okay. That, I can understand why people drink this." <laughs> I, so sorry, Susie. I say all of that to say, just like just like you said, you know, um, you. I was scared to drink it, but it turned out to be amazing. Same exact thing, same exact experience this woman had. Uh, so KB says, how was your Eclipse experience? It was fantastic. Fantastic. I there's there's I say I have no words. There was really, um, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, I've heard people explain it as ethereal. I've heard people talk about it's, you know, otherworldly. Uh, I mean, it, it was really, really, really fantastic. I mean, it's just, I get chills sometimes seeing pictures and seeing people who have been you know, on other things like that, just thinking about my time back in um, Dripping Springs. And um, it's just, it was a fantastic experience. All right, so let's see. Uh, Sean said, what up, what up? Al Luna CQ and said, what's up, guys? Uh, what's up, Rolling Smoke? Cortell says, uh, what up? Late to the party, was uploading the video. All right, I see what you did there. <laughs> hmm. Sean said he couldn't see anything in Houston. Oh, man. T should have come. Should have come to Dripping Springs. We did. I saved a spot for you. So let's see. I'm going to actually. Um, are you guys following me on Instagram? Any of you guys? So. Are any of you guys following me on Instagram? Just type an I in the chat if you are following me on Instagram. If you are following me on Instagram, type an I in the chat. Thanks for the response. I love when a question. I ask you uh, to start my business. No problem, Jay Capo. Not a problem whatsoever. I try to help when I can. Did you ask about um, fees, I guess? All right, Cortell says he is. Jimmy says he is. All right, so those of you guys who are not following me on Instagram, what's going on? What's 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 the problem? What's the matter? Sean said he's following me on Instagram, though he doesn't check his Instagram messages. <laughs> I am what I'm trying to do is pull up my pictures from <laughs> Jack. <laughs> I see what you did there. Tell Betty I said hey, please and thank you. So what I'm gonna do is pull up my pictures from the eclipse and show you. Come on, there's a freaking neck. I'm gonna hell out of me. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. Now Tito says normally don't use Instagram. Why not? I'm quitting says L. <laughs> uh Laura says, hey Dash and all. I asked you about the Metal Creek grill all you brought in Pennsylvania and the charcoal you use. Okay, not a problem, man. Um, 
I feel like I feel like since Susie is right there, I need to show her this. Um, so let's see, how can I? Oh wait, let's see. Do this and present. We're going to slides. No. Ooh. No, 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 no. I'm going to do slides. We're going to share screen. Select window. This one. So allow. So Susie, can you can you see that? That was that was me flipping off the Dallas sign as I drove through. So I won't say don't take it personally, but you know, that was that was me flipping off the Dallas sign as I was headed north on I guess 30, well, getting off 35, going to 35 East. <laughs> I saw the Dallas sign and I had to make sure you know you knew so <clears throat> yeah uh <laughs> this is beautiful <laughs> <Tito's>. <laughs> uh <laughs> all right so i was looking for pictures from the eclipse and then i got sidetracked when i saw that picture Oh, hey, taste tester number one. You all right? You sound sick or something. Oh, come on. Okay, that's when I just got there. So obviously, if you, if you can't tell, I am scrolling through pictures. All right. So I want to figure out how. Let's see if I can do this. All right. You know, I'm not a professional with this, so bear with me, please. So let's do this. And I'm going to present, share a screen, and photos. Hello? No, not that one. Show that one already. Oops. What did you say? It's just a chicken one? Uh, you can have it. I don't know what's in the box. Oh, so one of those, there's fish and probably chicken, like chicken tenders and fish, like a, like a fish and chips. All right, well, then Bastion ate all of the fish and chips then. Um, I don't say you really don't need to. <laughs> all right, I'm going to try to figure out how to get the right picture that I'm trying to show up. Um, all right, so this is the picture. Sorry, I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a professional at sharing these. Hmm. All right, because. Oh, boy, here's a sneeze. Uh... <laughs> oh, so I was pointing at the, um, the Dallas sign. <clears throat> so. I was pointing at the down sign. Give me one second. All right. So I want to say, as always, if you guys wanted to join me, you can. There is the link to join me while I try to figure out how to put some pictures so that I can show them to you. Okay. All right. So this was the eclipse, basically. So this is when, when you know, kind of all got started. And then I'm taking pictures as, you know, the sun is moving. And, you know, difference between vertical and horizontal. Um, so as the, you know, and this was like without the little, I used like the little glasses and I put them over top of my phone. And, um, you know, this is how I could see this, but it was sunnier then. But here, there was this. This was just taken through the clouds. Um, so again, through through the glasses, just again through the clouds. So I didn't have to use the glasses one hundred percent. So you can see how it's kind of cloudy, and how it's light on the on the one side. And the reason that is is because 
Oh shoot. The reason that is is because um I had oh man, sorry. I had the um there was a little bit of light getting in on the side. So again, you know, we're we're getting we're almost there, almost totality. We're getting there, and then this is totality. And it was crazy. The clouds made it, I won't say way worse, but to the naked eye, you could see much better. Um, the uh, you could see everything that you wanted to see, like all of the the like there were see where there's a bright spot here and a bright spot there. There were um, I, I can't remember what they were called, uh, but there's like uh, baby, um, there were like solar flares and things like that going off that you could see like n with the naked eye. It was fantastic. So here is one of those flares that you can see with the naked eye. And then certain places I was watching different people who were looking at the eclipse from different places and where we could see one at the bottom and one off to the side, there was one at the top and then one like over here too. So it was pretty, pretty awesome. Um, and, you know, again, I'm taking pictures through the clouds. So that's why you see more of these rings that, you know, were there. And again, more of the clouds and stuff like that. But it was pretty, pretty cool. Um, and then, like, so there is, there's, there's, I don't say, I'm trying to make sure I can point to, there's Jamie. Hopefully you can see. There's Jamie, there's Marcus, and myself. Missed the try to add to the stage. So hold on one second. Um, I'll get you in there. Um, so Jamie, Marcus, and myself. And this is, of course, during totality. And you can see how dark we are. And, you know, the, the picture of the, the the um the sun behind us and it was it was it was really surreal it was really really cool so this was that was just as the sun which was crazy is the smallest little sliver of the sun came out and immediately start getting brighter again but you see this is a picture of my shadow the colors were off the the colors were off and it was one of those things that was really weird it was kind of like golden hour but in reverse like like in the morning how when sunlight comes out but as opposed to it taking an hour or so for for the light to ramp up it took like five minutes but in that five minutes or so the colors were just they were they were they were i'm gonna say weird they were different there was a different hue to the colors and the shadows and i don't know if you can see this here but the shadows looked so crisp so very crisp so I took a picture of Marcus and Jamie's shadow, and then you know just the just the colors like the, the the colors were a little bit off, and it was just it was just weird. So, and we're you know we're just hanging out talking and having a good old time, and that was when I went back inside of Deep Eddy. So, but you know, Quentin, you there? So, yeah. <laughs> Susie, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, all right, let's see. Al Loomis and Kewen, what's up, man? What's going on? How you doing this evening? Doing good, doing good. Uh, well, I appreciate you having on headphones because that makes it a lot easier. But you seem, you look like a professional there. You got your mic set up and you. Your light from your computer washing over your face. To, you know. <laughs> I, I just had a live stream yesterday, and okay. um, and so it's still, uh, uh, still you know, I still up. have my yeah, it's still set up. I just all right, turned, that's what's up. What's up, my... blind man, Dave? How you doing, Mister? This evening. Uh, let's see. So John Owen says, "Hey KB." Uh, Susie said, "Damn, that's rough." Wow. So you know, I'm I'm sorry. I had to give I had to give that sign and said Dallas the one finger salute. I you know, I just had to. Then I didn't want because my hat was sitting on the dash and I, you can kind of see it. And I moved it in front and to try to position it in between the Dallas sign and the. But I I didn't want you to feel like I was representing Dallas and flipping off the birds. So then I had to move my hat and try to get another picture and. It was just, you know, driving and trying to do that while taking a picture. I was like, all right, you know what? I, I got to put my phone down. So I didn't I didn't do it um, a bunch. But 
Um, Susie says she's I, laughing. Susie, did you were you able to see the um, eclipse there in the Dallas Fort Worth area, Susie? Thanks, there, Grumpus. And Al, where where are you looking? Oh, okay. All right, so you're close to. He's in Fort Worth, right? Uh, who's that again? I said, is he in Fort Worth? Uh, Grumpus? No, Grumpus is not in. I, I'm not too sure. Grumpus is. I think it's close to the Houston area. I'm oh. in. I'm in South Texas, uh, mm. the furthest point south. And by the way, I'm not a Dallas fan. Good. I like you more already. <laughs> are you a Texans fan or? Yes, I am. Uh, all right, uh, we can't can't all be winners. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're looking good. We're looking good this year. We're looking good. Really, really. Yeah, because they got the quarterback from Ohio State. Oh, right. well, now he chimes in. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Night, buddy. <laughs> We're looking good, man. We're looking so, good. We just got Stefan Diggs. Uh huh. So, um, Al, I don't know if you are watching through YouTube because there seems to be a delay. So, what you might want to do is pause YouTube or mute YouTube and open up the StreamYard window, and then we'll be on a more of a live. You know, I won't say stream, but we'll be more live. I got you. Um, yeah. Sean just, just did is, that. Is you know he's like Houston. Stand down. <laughs> Quentin is stuck in his kayak. Yep, probably. Al, what are you drinking there? Drinking a Modelo Ranch Water. Ranch okay. water made by the the famous West Texas ranches. Okay. Uh, so basically it's agave with uh, agave with um, Topo Chico. Okay. And, oh, really? Yeah. And a slight... Wow. Uh, Hint so it's of like salsa water and tequila. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm feeling that. So I, I have I have Johnny to blame for my Topo Chico of I'm gonna say aff affliction. But you know, Johnny is not too far from where you are, and you know who Johnny is um from uh View to a Grill. Yeah, yeah, I know Johnny. So when I was down there a few years ago at Alton's house uh in Pflugerville. Oh yeah, so yeah, just I know north of Austin. I, I know Alton as well. The dog so it's, don't, it's, it's Alton. Alton. Don't call him Alton. It's Alton. Like, I'll be sure. I'm going to save you, I'm gonna save you the, the dirty look, okay? And getting beat up by Gene, his wife. Oh, it's man. Alton. <laughs> she, was, she was very clear. <laughs> it's Alton. Alton. <laughs> but, yeah, Alton. Like, I'll be sure. That's okay. how I remember it. <laughs> so, I got, you got a leg up, all right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> so... But I met Johnny there at Alton's house, and there's there's Johnny's there's Johnny's hat right there. Was was that when he had that get together? Yes, uh, yes. I, that, I the, think uh, I think uh, uh, Trumpet was there. Trumpet Master? No, he wasn't there. Oh, okay, this might have been. Mm -hmm. uh... There could have been another one. Um, but the, when I was there, it was Chef Johnny. There was Johnny okay. from YouTube Grill. There was CJ. Um, um, Chef Johnny from uh, San Antonio. Yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, Chef's backyard. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, Chef Johnny. He, okay, he's yeah. from San Antonio, but he's uh, he's uh, yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Okay, got so you. then there was Greg Mervitz from Ballistic Barbecue. Okay. Um, I said CJ already. Greg was there. Johnny was there. I was there. You know, I'm a nobody. Um, and then we had a couple other people. Um, Ian from um, Custom Cutting Boards US or RUS.com. Um, there was a guy named Scott there who uh, did sausage. Um, oh, Ryan from Backline Fabrication. It was or Backline Smokers. Oh, um, wow. he's kind of changed his name to Backline Smokers. Uh, there nice, it is. Nice. nice. Um, what you got going on uh, on that mug? I, man, I got a lot of stuff. So, um, I met, I met, um, uh, damn, it's, uh, I met Jim from Suburban Barbecue. He's the most famous YouTuber that has no has put out no videos. Um, I did not meet Grumpus. What? Because you know it's true. He's he's good. Am I lying? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not I'm, yeah. So, uh, Grumpus sent me some stickers. There's one of my stickers. This is Stephen and Jacqueline. Another one yeah. of my stickers. Great. This is Ryan from Backline Smokers. Nice. Marcus Crimson Creek. 
This is a I, I voted <laughs> sticker that has faded. Right. Um, let's see who else do I have here. Um, this is Think Bold. This is from my where is it? Oh, here it is. My Insta 360 camera. Oh, nice. I was like, oh, that little sticker will fit on my cup. Um, this is this guy's name is Justin Papa Bear's Kitchen. He's out in California. I don't know if you know who he is. And I think that's everybody on this cup, aside from a couple of my stickers. So there's a small one, there's a big one. And so, so yeah. is that basically a stainless steel cup that you put uh, stickers on? Yes, yes. This is a dude. I've had this cup for probably four or five years. That's and, pretty cool, man. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and it's a, it's um, it's one of the what is the um? Oh, it's like a Yeti knockoff. Okay, I got you. Yeah. But what do you got? So, what do you got going on in, in the in the in the cup the tumbler itself? What kind of drink you got? Oh damn, moonshine. <laughs> oh, and this is, damn. and this is, this is a little bit of um, this is some uh, some this is a the mango refresher from from Panera. It's got oh, a bunch yeah, of yeah. caffeine in it, and you know, I drink I drink too much liquor and I, I, I yawn and fall asleep, yeah. so I have to drink caffeine. To counteract it. Hey, Dash, real uh, quick. What's up? You mentioned custom cutting boards? Uh, so I have one. Can it's you... Custom Cutting Boards RS, I believe, is what it is. Custom Cutting Boards RS.com? Yes. I have to look at the. Hold on. I'm going to have to look at my. Like, look at one of my videos so that I can get the URL. So if you give me one second, I'm looking at a video um, in the. In the description, um, custom cutting boards are us.com. Here, I'll, I'll put, but he has, and what I use is the brisket board. So I won't say whenever, but every now and again, I talk about. So this says disconnect out. Why? What's going on, Hojo? Um, all right. I guess because uh, I said I, I'm a, a Houston Texan fan. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so let's see. Suburban Barbecue, 712 subscribers. Yes. No videos. I think I'm even subscribed to his channel. Um, Niels as well. How's everybody been? Susie says, I live north in, I live north Arlington near the stadium. So sorry to hear that, Susie. So sorry to hear that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you only got Miller Light beer to drink in that area because that mm -hmm. monopoly that Jerry Jones runs, you can't buy any Anheuser Busch products there. Seriously? Yeah, yuck. Mm. I, I like Miller Light though. I don't like Miller Light. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. That like... was the one I kind of gravitated to. So when I was um, I don't say when I was diagnosed, but. Uh, as a type 2 diabetic, and I knew that I wasn't supposed to be having a whole bunch of sugar in beer, I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to start drinking light beer. And Miller Lite was the one that I was like, all right, this is the, this is my one. Right, um, you right, know? right. So that was kind of how it just worked out, where right. I was like, I don't want Bud Light. I don't want Coors Light. I'm like, all right, you know what, Miller Lite. Miller Lite works for me. So that's must have been yeah. my go-to. Do, do you have I, that uh, brisket board? Yes, I do. Card? You want to see it? Yeah, for, for, this, for this price, absolutely. Oh, hold on one second. Dude, it's worth it, though. Give me a second. Yep. Is it wood? So is it a big, uh, is it a big board there, uh, tri-tip? I don't, I, I, it's hard to say how big it is. Just look at the pictures online. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. shit. <laughs> okay, yeah. Wow. All right. <laughs> That's big. Yeah, it is. I know you can't hear me. No, I can me hear you. Can't hear us. We can hear you. Okay, I put my headphones back in so I can hear you now. So this no, we can this, we can hear you. You can oh, we can hear you from where you're oh, at. Oh, all right. So the cutting board is like 30 inches uh, from here to here, from mm -hmm. from the end to end, and it's almost I think it's about 18 or 19 inch or it might be 20 inches um, from you know side to side from this side to the other side. This thing is huge and it's and it's heavy. Dude, when I got this when I was in Austin, I had to buy another bag and put it in that bag. And that's how I ended up getting it home. Wow. Yeah, wow. it's 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 huge. Um, I have I'll say I have videos talking about it, but if you find there's brisket videos where I'm using it and and I talk about it, I'm like, yo, this thing is 
30 some odd inches. Well, you can look at the dimensions that are right there. And I have been using this, this cutting board whenever I have more than one brisket to cut. I use that, that cutting board there. And I've been using it for four years now. Um, since just, just, just prior to the pandemic, I was in Austin in February of 2020, um, 2020. And what, I mean, what, what do you think the materials made out of? Is so that like, it is a plastic, like, like you would, I almost say a regular plastic cutting board, but the whole thing is he layers it and he can customize it and make them, make it whatever colors you want. There's so also what, different what was sizes. the name again? What was the name again? It's custom cutting boards. I actually I just typed the I oh yeah, it. yeah. I saw yeah, I saw the so it's custom cutting boards are there us. Yeah, custom cut cutting boards are us. So um definitely check them out. His guy's name is Ian. If you tell him Dash from Still Drum Smokers Barbecue sent you, I don't know if he'll hook you up or you know, maybe give you a break or do something. Probably not, <laughs> but um, I just, I always give him a shout out cause he gave me one of the, you know, he gave me this he, board. He's on Amazon. I don't believe it's on Amazon, but I'm not sure. Okay. Um, but, but if you go out. to his website, I'll um, definitely that's a pretty cutting board. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't see like just these cutting boards that are on Amazon are all wood. Now, mind you, um, I I purchased a cutting board last year or so for my wife that had her name engraved on it, and it turned out fantastic. Um, so if you're looking for something for Mother's Day or something like that, you know, there's a suggestion um, for you guys. But his website is customcuttingboardsrus.com. Um, is there anybody that wants to join us on the live stream? So Al joined us, and Mr. Tri-Tip joined us, Quentin. Um, but anyone else? Uh, John says you need a wall of stickers. So I would love to do that, but my wife will kill me if I put a wall of stickers behind me because this is I'm sitting in my dining room. She already wants to have me beheaded because of the way that I have my table, my dining room table, um, a strewn with my things because this is where I work from. This is where I do my editing. This is where I sit all day and, like I said, I work. Um, so I have multiple laptops set up here, and then my stuff is just running rampant at the end of the table. Uh, Grumpus says, I think my wife needs a brisket cutting board. Yeah, he might be able to engrave something on the backside for you. And um, definitely he can put different colors into it. Um, I'm not 100% sure as to what he's still doing as far as production-wise, because I haven't talked to him in four years. But uh, I do, in the video where I went to Austin, I do... Um, <laughs> talk to him about the cutting boards and he kind of told me a little bit about the process <laughs> um <laughs> sean says that's where the magic happens indeed listen i spent a good deal of yesterday editing the video that's going out tomorrow that video tomorrow is like 30 35 minutes long and it's um i i did a horrible job <laughs> of filming um and this is one of those things and, and if if you do videos you, you'll understand this when i say it I go into filming videos or I go into and an experience with the best of intentions. And then I start living in the moment and I don't pull out my camera. And I think we've all been there with the exception of, hey, I'm going to film me cooking this particular thing. If it's like a live event or like an event where people might not be comfortable 100 percent with cameras being thrust in their faces, I'm probably not going to do a good job filming. So I didn't do that well of a job filming. So <laughs> Sean says, bro, tell me about it. Oh yeah. It's um it, so Sean is Sean has got a fledgling channel and his channel is actually doing well. Um, you know, Sean, if you want to talk about your, your channel, you know, feel free. I don't want to put you on the spot, but you know, feel free to plug your channel. I'm sure there are some folks here who will be into what it is you are doing on that other channel. Thank you. <laughs> um, but let's see. Um Hojo said, if I got my wife a cutting board for Mother's Day, she would kill me. Nah, man. <laughs> um, get yourself a portable background that you can put your stickers on. So I thought about it, and you know it's funny. I I I won't say have seen, but I can I can put different things up. But where I am to where this wall is, and it's not that far, so there's not that much room behind me for me to be able to set something up again, like a green screen or something like that. 
I, hey, I thought hey about Dash, it. a quick question. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Tomorrow, tomorrow's video uh, was that a review of a restaurant or something, or did you? No. Do a so what I did was it was my trek out there. So I drove to Austin. I don't know if you were aware of that. I drove okay. to Austin last week, um, two, okay. well, two weeks ago now, to see the eclipse. Oh wow! And so yeah. you you were headed from where again? From Baltimore. Oh, so I drove shit. halfway across the country. Holy to crap! See the That's eclipse. a long yeah. way. And and to, I want to say to add insult to injury, I drove. Um, so it was basically sixteen hundred miles in my electric car. Dash, dash, dash! Tell them how much money you spent on the journey to get there. It, t- it cost me one dollar ninety five cents because I was idiot and messed up on the charging. Mm-hmm. So, um, Electrify America is partnered with Volkswagen. Actually, Volkswagen is partnered with Electrify America. So I own a 2022 Volkswagen ID4. Because it's a Volkswagen, I get three years free charging. So with that being said, I get three years of 30-minute sessions for free. There were two or three sessions that, or there were two sessions that I went over by like two minutes on my session. So I ended up getting charged a couple, you know, a couple cents basically. And there were a couple sessions where I went over like, nine seconds and 15 seconds respectively and i got charged a couple cents so in in the grand scheme of things it cost me um to for me to travel that 1600 miles um it cost me uh one dollar 95 cents i actually have the excel spreadsheet up so i downloaded the the charging session so i could tell you exactly like how long i spent each set at, at each charger the average number, and I'm, I'm actually going to break this all out because I have the data, and you know, like, so I want to say here I can show you guys if you, you know, if anybody wants to see it, I can show you. I know I'm not the only one that's, that nerds out on stuff like this, but yeah, it cost me what I ended up paying was a dollar ninety five cents, but the total cost of charging was six hundred nineteen dollars and ninety five cents. So I saved six hundred twenty bucks in charging fees by driving my electric car. Nah, so well, fast. random question: Did you? Yeah. On this trip, were you charger hopping or were you stopping? I was in- charger hopping. Okay. Definitely. So I would, and it, you know, the chargers were on average about 75 miles apart. Um, the shortest one was, um, there was one charger that was like 25 miles from one to the other. And I went to, I, I skipped it on the way out there, but I stopped at it on the way back. Um, just because of the way that my chargers, uh, my, my chargers were going. Um <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, Al, if you can see those private messages. Yeah. Let me take a look. All right. So, uh, Quentin posted something for you to see. Uh, what up, John from Four J's Barbecue? Uh, for a piece of plywood panel and the stickers on it. Ah. So I, I thought about it, but again, the missus would kill me. You see, she's she's got a problem with those cutting boards sitting there. As is. Um. So let me see. Let me just make sure I'm caught up. Kind of like when my dad bought my mom a lawnmower from Mother's Day. <laughs> no, but the whole thing is, so I bought my wife this cutting board because she does, she makes a lot of charcuterie pl- uh, plates. Um, so her cutting board is for her to use with her charcuterie. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Hey, Sean says, hey. damn, I can't drive to my ATB and my truck for a dollar. <laughs> Cortez says, damn, talk about bang for your buck. Yep, my two bucks. It cost me basically a dollar going out there and a dollar coming back. You know, Dash, uh, two years ago, I took a, a East Coast trip, mm-hmm. and I took a, a huge one of them. Uh, I think they're called Lifetime Lifetime. Uh, oh, like coolers. RV? No, no, Lifetime Coolers. They're, they're like oh. a knockoff of the, yes. of the uh, what are they? The Yeti. The Ye- Yeti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Walmart knockoff. And, uh, yep. and it's pretty big. So every time I gas up, and you had me thinking about this, every time I'd gas up, I'd go to the convenience store and I just put in a 24 ounce of a beer that I've never drank. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, it was full of ice. It was a great idea, man. Because when I came back, there was a whole bunch of beer that I never tried, and I invited all my friends and we tried a whole bunch of different beer. And one of the okay. beers that I got near Baltimore was uh, now. It I'm was trying to remember. Blonde ale. No, it was. Oh. This is. I'm talking cheap. I'm talking some oh. of the the. 
This is the National Bohemian. Is oh, yeah, that... Natty Bo is good, dog. Yeah. <laughs> Natty Bo is good. Hell yeah, man. So Natty Bo used to be made in Baltimore. And there's a there the the I'll say the factory, but where it used to be made, there still is the the Natty Bo um image above the oh, the place. Wow. But it's now made in uh, Milwaukee. But Natty Bo oh, is good. Hell yeah. Man. Natty Bo is good. Hell yeah, I was National very impressed. Bohemian. All, Bohemian. all my yeah. friends were like, Where'd you get this? I was close yep. to Baltimore. I was yep. like, Holy shit. So man, I do, I want to say I do something similar, but I didn't bring any beer back with me because usually I do. Um, like when I'm when I'm abroad or I'm wherever, I will fold beer bottles into my clothes when I'm traveling. Um, but I just didn't do it this time. Laura's back, she says. Um Let's see, Dash, I was up your way last Friday. All right, Nukem, well, where'd you go? Um, Sean said, I just bought a truck last week, and I was looking for the Ford Lightning. I was hoping to find a hybrid, but no bueno. So Ford doesn't do hybrids in their, their – I think they're all, like, 100% electric or gas or diesel. Um, I don't believe they have any hybrid vehicles. I think, like, the Ford Fusion, maybe, or – I don't even think the Taurus comes in a in a hybrid. They're either all EV, 100% EV, or or internal combustion. Uh, but what kind of truck did you get, man? Laura's back. Victor, what up, Victor? He said, "Howdy, all. You need to do that same trip, Al, but head south uh, and load up uh, load up the cooler." Yeah, buddy. Shoot, <laughs> I, I it's it's funny. I was in. So Marcus and I went one morning and we got breakfast tacos from this gas station. And right. I went in and I'm I'm looking at you know in, in in Texas, yo, they sell beer any damn where. So in the gas station, you can get beer. That's not right. the case here in Maryland. Um, because you know, <laughs> obviously. So you have to go to a beer and wine store to get your beer. But anyway, at this gas station, there was an island and it was full of ice, and there were beers in there. And one of the beers that I saw in there was uh, Pacific, it wasn't Pacifica. It was, it was an El, El Salvadorian beer. So a friend of mine is from El Salvador, and he and I drank that beer together before. And I meant to go back in there and get a bottle before I left, but I never did. You know, it's always I should have just bought it when I saw it. But I was like, nah, well, I'll come back. I, I had no need to go to the gas station. Obviously, driving an electric car, so that was why I, ne- I didn't go back. Um, you know, you know, Dash. Yep. You know, you mentioning that, I do remember in several of the places that I stopped uh, when I was mm-hmm. putting gas, I had to run over across the street to the uh, yep to, to the beer and wine store. Li- yep. yeah to yeah. the beer and wine liquor yep. store because they wouldn't sell it there. I was like, what the hell? What? Yeah, you guys, you don't know how good you have it, seriously, because there's there's nothing like you're like, oh, I'm gonna go to Walmart and get a six pack. What? That does not exist. That is not a thing here at all. Wow, you can't. That- that's no. great. But one thing that did freak me out was down in uh, Virginia where they have these convenience ABC stores. Store. Yeah, and, and they have a wall full yep. of, of of tobacco leaves that are bigger than hell, man. It's <laughs> huge. That's tobacco that's leaves. Where, that's tobacco country, man. Yeah, tobacco man. Country. I was like, what? That's where all your cigarettes come from. Yeah. If you drive man. on 95, and did you drive on 95 when you were up here? Uh, I'm sure I did. Uh, so 95 in Richmond, there is the Winston Salem factory. Oh yes, I did pass through. And you you see the yeah. Winston Salem, um, With and the big you know, uh, Winston... cigarette. Yep, that's exactly yeah. it. Oh yeah, 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 definitely. All right, so Sean said he got a 2024 Silverado <laughs> RST. Nice. Alice, uh, uh, Grumpus says Al needs to load up that cooler and head over here. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, so Roland Smoke says, how many miles do you get on the charge? So this is one of those things that's very subjective. You know that your mileage may vary? Mine did indeed. So there are a lot of variables as to how many miles per you know kilowatt hour that I could get or that I got. Um, but so in an in a nutshell, the typically I would charge the car to 50 to 60 percent. And I, you know, again, I could look back at the numbers here to say to show when I got off the charger. So 51%, 51%, 71%, 58%, 80%, 90%. So basically the whole thing was 
I was and and there's a there's a thing called charger hopping, and this is what Clinton was talking about earlier. Basically, I charged the car enough to get to the next station, and then I charged the car enough to get to the next station. So if you guys saw the and I'm going to open up another picture here. So let me just give me a moment. Um, what is the Austin route? Oh, oh, not that one. This one. Okay, so let's maximize this. And uh, you got to bear with me as I'm trying to get this or show you guys this. So present, share screen. And I'll kind of show you. Austin route. Allow. All right. So you guys see, so this is where I started. So can you, and I can't see you guys. So hopefully you guys can, can see what I'm doing here, where I'm pointing. So this is where I started. I'm, I'm up here. So you see where home is. And then my route took me down and south. And then this was the first place that I stopped. This was um, Woodstock, Woodstock, Virginia. So from Woodstock, I then went here. And then from there, that was Staunton. Yep. And then from here, then to here, and that was, it's called Thin Castle, okay, Thin Castle. And then we're down here, and then that one was w uh, Wiley Will. Oh, shoot, hold on. Hey, Dash, Sean, on yeah. average, how long are you uh, recharging? Uh, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean... I, for the most part, when the charges were closer together, so up here, so here, here, these were like 60 miles apart, 70 miles apart. Then it started to grow a little bit, and here's another charger. And then these two were the two that were 23 or so miles apart. But when I charged, I charged deeper here, and I skipped this one and went to this one, which is Memphis. Okay? Memphis had horrible chargers. So on my way back, I went from here to this one, and I skipped Memphis. But because I skipped Memphis, I then had to stop here to make it to this one here. That's so I, I, I yeah, what is yeah? So um, Knoxville, there was there's one in Kodiak. This is Kodiak, and this is Knoxville. Yeah, but you said it was Memphis, right? This is Memphis. What? This is Memphis. The Memphis one in the middle. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Memphis is on the far left side. So I'm sorry, but. The whole thing is when I was in, when I was here, and I can look and see what this one was, but I ended up charging here and then stopping here and having to stop here again to get to here on the way back. But on the way out there, I'm, I skipped this one. So, but so I see Memphis. Memphis was horrible. And then the next one was horrible because there was a that problem like there. Yeah, that, that sounds like Memphis. There's nothing good there. Well, so it was, I'm going to say it was funny, but Memphis. Um, I will stop the 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 charging. But that was that was the whole thing. I hopped from and like I said, on average, once once I got past like Nashville, the charges were maybe a hundred ish or so miles apart. Um, but Nashville and North they were about sixty to eighty miles apart on average. But further south they were about a hundred miles apart, which meant that I had to charge it a little deeper. So I had to charge to uh, you know closer to seventy to eighty percent. So that I can make it to um, to get all the way to where I needed to be. So what's up? We have Mr. Steven. What's up, uh, Dash? People, uh, what up, man? How you doing, Steven. Steven? What is going on, my buddy? I'm good. Really? I, I feel like I need to go get the punching just because you you're here. Oh man, dude, you gonna make me get the punching? Uh, that that bottle isn't even open, man. You just you just flexing. <laughs> you flexing. I, look, no, 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 no. Don't, don't come for me. All right, now, now go ahead and pour it into something. Let me let me see you take a shot, okay? <laughs> man. Okay, yeah. Go ahead. I call kill the germs. Yes. Salud. Salud. Mm. Yep. Here. Yep. Bam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. He took a little bit. Look how look look at that little bit he's got right there. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Take it. Take it to the head. There we go. 
I'm going to get a shot in a second. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Salute, Trinity Peoples. Huh. Mm. All right. So I'm just trying to catch up. Um, so Grumpus says, so would you have saved time with full charges and skipping every other charging station? No, because I felt like it's six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. And you know what's funny is there was a point where on my way back, I went to a charging station and I was there. And I left just before there were two other ID4s. So the same exact vehicle I had, they went to the charge station. And these were French Canadians. So the French Canadians were headed back to Quebec, which basically meant they were traveling on the same path I was headed. So I'm like, ooh, perfect. I wonder if they're going to be doing deep charges or short charges like I was doing. So they were doing deep charges. And with the fact that they were doing deep charges, what happened is I went to... um. I went to like every station. They were going every two. When I got to the second station, they were there. So they beat me there, right? But when I got there, there were way too many people there because there were two. They were traveling in the caravan. So it was two of them. So because they were there together, I'm like, all right, well, I have enough room. I have enough charge to get to the next station, which was in Frederick, Maryland versus wherever I was in just in Virginia, like Northern Virginia. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to go to the next station in Frederick. And when I got to Frederick, I was there in Frederick and I charged in Frederick for literally eight minutes. And the whole thing was I charged in Frederick for eight minutes and giving me 37 percent, which was more than enough to, for me to get home. And then I do what I, I never usually do. I plug the car in at home because I was like, after charging all these damn times, I'm going to plug the car in at home. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I, I plugged it in at home. So. Chachi, did I, do I see Chachi here? Oh, what up, Taj? My man got a fresh bottle of Forest Park. All right, so hold on. I gotta go get the, I gotta go get the jar and um and and get the shot glass. But let me just make sure I'm. Uh, <laughs> Sean said I would expect nothing less of Memphis. So Memphis, Memphis was in Memphis fact the worst charging station that I stopped at because and and, and it was I was hard pressed because it was Forest City, Arkansas was another one that was really bad. And when you watch the video from tomorrow, you will see I had a I won't say it was a horrible experience, but I had a hell of a time getting my car charged in Forest City, Arkansas. Um, but I mean, it, it worked out. Uh, that's how much you give a teething baby. <laughs> so Sean is saying that you didn't you didn't actually take a good enough shot, Steven. <laughs> 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 he, he geeking already, Steven. Geeking already. Punching got him going. <laughs> that that heat, that punching raises a heat in your oh, body. Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. It does. Like, like I'm I'm sweating just thinking about drinking the punching. <laughs> All right, let me get a shot glass and let me get my punching because I, I I told you I take some punching. So hold on. So Al, what up? Nothing much, man. Steven, how was your day today? Just chillaxing home. I'm home these days. You know, on a bit on a bit of vacation. Sounds so. good, man. Did you cook anything today? No, nah, I didn't cook anything. Just had some leftovers. Uh oh. Here I'm comes that bottle. Out, Here comes man. that bottle. All right, so I feel like I need to down my 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 best Trini Trini uh accent talking about my punching. So <laughs> Now, now remember my shot glasses are a lot bigger than yours. Eh? Boo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. This a Texas, a Texas this shot glass. A, this, he said it's a Texas shot glass. You're full of uh -oh. you're full of stuff. Here we and go, this, man. So I'm taking I'm taking my punching like in a soju shot glass. So this is, a, pour, this is a Jamaican look, shot glass. Look, look, look. I'm a, I'm gonna pour like a quarter shot because yeah, you know that's what we're doing. Steven, style. all right, that's what's up. <laughs> Salute. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know, have punching in a while. If you if you don't know, there it is, right there. Punching mm. is a hundred and fifty proof. Oh damn! This is two hundred proof. <laughs> What is that? Oh. That's not 200 proof, dog. You can't have 200 proof. 
Okay, minus one ten, whatever. Seriously, <laughs> two hundred proof minus one ten is ninety, dog. I ain't that drunk. <laughs> I'll try. What I is need... it? A bur- That's bourbon? Bullet. There? That's bullet bourbon. Bullet bourbon. You okay. know, it's funny. I had some rye. Actually, um, Marcus sent me home with some bullet rye. I finished it when I got home on Sunday tra- or on Saturday, trying to fall asleep, and I didn't. <laughs> I was like this. I was wide awake. Uh, you got to get some b- b- uh, buses, yes, stations to charge up um, at like here in Texas. So our uh, RXTX. Um, What's going buses, on, Randy? The buses stations. Um, have Tesla chargers. They don't have and or Mercedes chargers. I've, I've seen people charge that have like the Mercedes network chargers or or there's there's another network. That I can't the Wibby is coming to the uh, Bucky's. Saw that. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the whole thing is the network that I can charge on for free is not at Bucky's. Is the point I'm trying to make. Okay. Um. Oh 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 oh. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. We. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> you gotta unmute yourself. Oh, there we go. Hello. I know she got the little cat eye, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she got the bun going on. Okay. Hey, what up, cousin? Nothing. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So hold on one second before you do that. I saw Grumpus asked about um uh Bucky stops. I did not stop at any Bucky's. I passed four Bucky's on my way there and on my way back. I resisted the urge to stop at Bucky's um, only to hurry up and get to where I needed to go and to not spend money because oh, you yeah, go into yeah. Bucky's. You uh, would have spent a lot of money. <laughs> Lou says, Dash Barbecue uh, fam, how we doing? What up, Lou? How you doing? Lou Kalamatas. Yo, Lou is so funny. So when I was talking to Marcus about doing a, about the live streams and other things like that, he was like, what is up with Lou? He said, man, every time you say Lou's name, he said, I always have to say it too. Lou Kalamata. So that's from Marcus. We're going to say Lou Kalamata a couple of times while he's here. Um. Oh, so Tosh, is we taking shots of punching on a Wednesday? Sir, yes, sir, we are. Okay. So... So so Steven, so cooking with cooking with Steven and Jacqueline, he's in Trinidad. And you know, when we with Taj, when you and I, when we go to Trinidad, we gonna we're gonna have to link up with, with Steven so we can we can break bread, drink, drink at his house for real. We we're coming to take over. That's for sure. <laughs> he said that's what's up. That's yeah, you don't, I don't think you're ready, Steven. You're not ready. <laughs> he wasn't ready. <laughs> I was actually I was um sick for the last couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got the virus. Oh man. Well, hopefully I'm I'm doing better. Yeah, yeah. Back to my old self. Like, you know? He said he bounced back. So okay. Tosh says he loves bullet. Um, definitely can can agree. And um, uh, you know, he he was drinking bullet when we were on the cruise. So. Uh, Taj and I, we were on the cruise. When we went on the cruise, my wife and I went on the cruise in February. Taj was on the cruise. We crashed his cruise, um, and we were there for one week. We did. Angela, don't, yo. <laughs> I, Angela, didn't I send you? I sent you the link to the cruise we're doing in August, so get your stuff together. You're not doing it. You said, you said. I had three conferences this summer. <sighs> well, thanks for being important. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh Krumpus says he does better at the casino than Bucky's. That is man, hilarious. shoot, man. Uh, yeah. So definitely, Luke Kalamatis. I'm telling you, I'm I'm saying it now, just specifically, so Marcus has to say it. So Marcus, I'm I'm sure I'll get a text message in the morning as Marcus watches this back because. He and Jamie are probably out and about uh, at dinner somewhere right about now. And or he's already asleep <laughs> because there's only one or two things. He's either asleep or they're out at dinner and that's why they're not here. But I had a fantastic time in Austin. They treated me like royalty. Um, and I mean, the perks of knowing Marcus and Jamie, fantastic. Let me just say fantastic. So 
anyway. I have a question before you yes, move on. Why is Pac-Man going on? And it's like got all of my attention. Oh, hold on. Let's let's it's just it's just great, isn't it? I'm just having a good bring time. Bring it to the forefront. I know. I'm having like the best time watching it. And I'm I'm like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was bigger, to be honest. <laughs> oh wait, no, not that one. That's Dash, hit the right button. I know, dog. I'm not a professional, okay? Come on now. Relax, relax. <laughs> Hold up. Bam. Yeah, look at that. All right. So, right so slide up. your camera, Al. Slide your camera off to the to your left a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love. Oh, I was about to say I love how you just got in front of it. No, not no, you. No, like, did you see? Like, do you see all the? All, yes, like, I see all the pinball in the arcade the, cabinets back there. Why? And, I mean, the little chucky dolls are creepy, but everything else in that room is cool. Are those mini arcade cabinets or full size cabinets? No, they're the they're the arcade one up. Okay, uh, cabinet. So I've modified some of them, and uh, see, you but can are, tell. I'm asking the right questions because I've moved plenty of arcade damn cabinets and pinball machines. I was about to say those look like minis. Those mm -mm, those aren't ones that you can move by, by yourself, or those are ones you can move by yourself, not the full size right. arcade cabinets. Them them right. things, man, they're like three four hundred pounds a piece. Right, right. So this is what I got here. Uh, basically, it's a pixel display, and you can program it to do different Your functions. Centipede. Right, yeah. So you can. I do saw the eclipse bunch. earlier. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's just a really cool. Oh, uh, look at that. Where? Yeah, there it is. So where's Grumpus? Because Grumpus, you know his his audio and video setup is like similar in quality. So, you know. Yeah, uh, we we love Grumpus, but the our crazy things in the back that that is just fantastic. That's right. great. Next time, Mine next time. Dash, are you always on the, on Wednesdays? Yes, sir. Wednesdays at nine PM Eastern, so eight PM your time. Okay, so next time. So, but but I don't always do this group discussion. I do this once. Oh, a month. okay, yeah. okay. Well then, well next time you do, I'll have them all on, and 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 uh, so you guys can see each you one act of these. Like you can't get up and turn them on right now. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm getting re I'm getting are ready you? to hit the shower, man. <laughs> So, uh, so you can I turn them on and leave them playing for us to watch. You don't have to be there. <laughs> we're not. We're not. Here. We don't want to see you. We want to see. Yeah, you. right. We're not, you know. You know. You you know how when a newborn is born and the, you know like oh the parent the grandparents and the other people we're not here to see you. We're here to see the baby. We're <laughs> we're we're here to see the arcade That's a good machines. Okay. <laughs> All right. Listen. Oh, I. I'm good at analogies, dog. Okay. I was Look. gonna say. <laughs> oh, I'm real good. I, I don't. I don't. I don't miss. Okay. I don't miss. So Yo, everyone uh, simultaneously. Uh, let's let's get one, two, three. Mine. Y'all, y'all need to work on it. I know it. Was, I didn't give him get, enough time. So Al Marlin. Al, Quentin, Al, this is my cousin Angela down there, and Al, this is Steven, in case you don't know. Um, so hey, Al. Al's getting ready to leave us. Uh, you know, really, you can you can mute your device and go ahead and turn the machines on. I will put you, you know, put your... <laughs> He's like, I have to wait until 11 o'clock to turn on the machines because we get the lower electricity rate at that time. So... <laughs> Very true. Very true. Ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> Listen, I I am I'm a funny guy, dude. Like I, whew, I mean, I, I I tell jokes, crack jokes all day long. Marlon, he's so negative. He came more negative with with damn eclipse. I know. I, I, oh, really? yeah. That happened. Like, what are you talking about? Because I ain't seen no damn eclipse. What are you, you know, would you like for? to see the eclipse? I will show you pictures you from the see, eclipse. You can see it here. You can see it here. I'm just no. <laughs> <I'm never laughs> <kidding. Why? laughs> <laughs> yeah, you was late. See, that's what happens. You want, you want, you want other people time. We had, we had 87 percent totality. I got a chance to see it. How many? What was the percentage here, Angela? Eighty-seven. No, no. I'm telling you, a hundred percent. A hundred percent totality was. Man, 
Yeah, I mean, you, you sent me the pictures, and I got pictures from Ohio and Ayanna's in, in uh, Indianapolis. Aren't, was Uncle Gene, was he in the past of totality? He should have been, yeah. Oh, I, you know, I don't hear from him unless we're doing something. <laughs> <laughs> You should check in on him though. Um, All right. Yeah. All right. Check in on him. He 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 was in the hospital for really. Yeah. Oh, man, they don't tell me nothing. That's that's you know I get um that's I get father. the you don't have any I'm about to say I get the you don't have anybody to tell you about your aunt and uncle so everybody will tell you about your aunt. <laughs> so I'm sorry we're just having a family moment here. Sorry. So <laughs> Uncle Calvin um told me your aunt your aunt was in Philly last week right. Mm-hmm. Or over the weekend, and they were planning to go out to dinner after church, I guess. Or she was talking about trying to plan, and there was this, a uh, you know, a, a funny. Basically, she texts the group, "What you know? Hey, I would like to go to dinner while I'm here. Yada yada, blah blah blah. What time should we go?" Uncle Paul said, "Hey, let's go between three and five. Uncle Kelvin said, oh, "Okay, between three and five is cool with me." And then I'm nervous, like, "All right, cool. I'll see you at three o'clock." Uncle Calvin's like, um, where are we going to meet? So I'm like, well, I heard from Aunt Minerva. I heard from Uncle Paul. I heard from Uncle Calvin. Where's my dad? Where's my dad? I haven't, I haven't heard you. the group chat? No, I'm not. They are. Oh, they're they're the, talking. The siblings, yes. They're sibling. They're, oh. they're talking together. So okay. Uncle Calvin is telling me about this whole experience. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. if, you know, this family moment. Um, so my Uncle Calvin is telling me about this experience. So I'm like, all right, well, I heard about Uncle Aunt Minerva, Uncle Paul, Uncle Calvin. And my, I'm like, all right, that leaves my dad. What did my dad have to say? And I feel so then Uncle Calvin, Uncle Calvin's like, so where are we meeting? Right? Because no one has said where we are meeting. And Aunt Minerva's like, look up in the chat, in the discussion. And Uncle Uncle Calvin's like, um, we talked about the times and not about where we're going. Where are we going? Well, my dad replied to Aunt Minerva specifically, directly, and said, hey, let's meet at, you know, the country club or whatever. I, I know, I know. That's, that's, why they like that place? I have no idea. Anyway, you know, no. Every time your dad suggests something, it's always that place. No, it's not. It's always Michael's or that place. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> right. So anyway, so then Aunt Minerva's like, oh, so sorry. You know, my dad said, here, this place. Can we all meet there? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, it's always my dad. It's always my dad. He he is the he is the weak link. He's definitely the weak link. <laughs> Not even the missing link, the weak link. All right. So I'm sorry, family, family oh, conversation. But, but family did they discussion. go? Did they did Grammy come? They did. They they I'm I I need to ask Uncle Calvin for some pictures. And um I need to hit up Aunt Minerva because I expected to hear from her while she was possibly passing through heading back home. I, um, you know she drove? She didn't fly? I believe she drove. I think I heard she drove. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, we talked about Marcus. We we didn't we didn't talk him up. Quentin says we're right here. Everybody, tune in next week for your brand new episode of the Black Waltons. <laughs> oh man that is so funny um <laughs> hey dash I, i'm out man I'm, i yeah. gotta go i gotta work out. early tomorrow but appreciate you guys hanging. hanging no problem man hanging. thank you for for joining us and when care. and or if you see me on live you know feel free to to join hey can you comment um, in the, on a live stream, so I can um check out your channel, cause I'm not sure. gonna lie, I I do not know what it is. No problem. Um, so just comment so I can check out your channel, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to open up the live. There we go. Baby, baby, baby. baby hey, you baby. guys have a g- great night, man. It was Thank fun you, you hanging too, out man. with you, you guys. Definitely, and, and... dude. I I appreciate you hanging out with us as well. Um, hey. you know, make don't become don't be a stranger, man. For real, hang out with us more often. Definitely, yeah, man. man. Blessings to everyone, and you guys. Thank you. Enjoy your Thank night you, and man. enjoy the rest of your week. All right, Hello. man. You too. Thank you. Okay, who did that? Who did what? Was that you? What? What oh. happened? Okay. What happened? Yeah, some we good time. Time. Oh, yeah, we had 
the MacBook, so when you do gestures, it does like different surprises. So yeah, it's supposed to, but it don't do it when you want it to do it. It only does it. <laughs> it feels like doing. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh, Jamie says, hey, yo, checking in with T-Bone from my spot. Tell T-Bone I said, what up, T-Bone? So, T-Bone, what is T-Bone's full name? And you guys need to check out T-Bone on Instagram, because T-Bone is like T-Bone something McDickens X Esquire. Wow. Yeah, exactly. T-Bone is the coolest cat that's a dog. He's a cool... Wow. He's he's cool. Um, Laura says, it's just to relax and enjoy it. All right, Marcus says, balloons. Okay, so Marcus saw them too. So I'm I'm not crazy. Yeah, you have, you have you. Like, how the hell you, does that happen? It's gestures. And it that like I told you, they don't ever do it when you wanted to do it. I'm talking I've been talking at the end with executives and people that had a MacBook. It looks stupid because they do something and then the balloons come. <laughs> Throwing gang signs like what? I don't know what to do. I thought gang signs like what, what do you gotta do out right here. They didn't. They didn't give you. They didn't brief you on how to use the gestures or whatever. No, you yeah, have everything turned. It better be turned off. Cause... Shout out to Jamie and Mark. Jamie and Marcus. You know, I've been, I had, I've been rocking the hat for the last couple of days, but I put on the shirt specifically for the live stream. I, m- I miss you guys already, and it's been like four days. Aww. I know. I really like, like Noble. I do miss them. I, I didn't. I wasn't driven to watering my beard this time, but <laughs> like I really did enjoy Back being looking at houses in Austin. Bro, let me tell you, I can't Back afford a damn house in Austin. Down there. I he started been... looking at land in Austin though. Mm-hmm. So I, I told one of my friends me to help with their um laptop. They were like, Do you know how to open up a laptop and get their memory card off? And I was like, nah, I was like, my cousin does. I was like, but I'm not sure if he's home yet. And so he was like, How long he been in? I was like, what, why? <laughs> <laughs> what was he accused of would have been the next logical yeah. question like, what? oh man what? wow oh man look oh so look Jamie said I made dinner tonight uh, I made dinner tonight and was like damn I wish Dash was here yeah I wish I was there too shoot if I could figure out how to be a like part time Austin resident I would I would love to be there, but I can't afford to fly back and forth because there's no way I'm driving back and forth every damn time. Oh man. We need like teleportation. <laughs> For real. Uh Dan Dash can't even say hi to me. So I did say hi to Chachi. I saw I someone you. else. Nobody care about you. No, nah, nobody care about you. <laughs> you know. I saw I saw Hush. someone else. Chachi is something about Chachi, and I was like, What? Chachi's here himself, right? No one cares. Here. Nobody cares. There's Jimmy. Yeah, let's see. There he is. Jimmy. All right. What up? The J, the I, the M, the M, the Y, the J, the I, the M. Hi it's guys. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for, for being on the same page. I appreciate you, Angela. <laughs> You didn't mess up at all. That's pretty good. There was, there was no way I was going to let my brother Stephen over, over here yeah, yeah. come on live without saying hello. And. Uh oh. Uh oh. Are we doing another? Taking the shot. Oh, oh he's not taking the shot, he said. Another Steven. one. Are we taking a shot with Stephen? We're doing another one. I believe oh. we need to take a shot with brother Stephen. All right. So, can. Can I do a moonshine shot or do yeah, I have to do yeah, another yeah. Ray and Nephew shot? Oh. <laughs> and it's a Steven shot. It's a Steven shot. Then it's the Ray and Nephew. Very important. Right. Angela going to get some water. It's a Steven <laughs> shot. <laughs> Steven shot? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. we just got to gotta look. Right there. The there, we go. right there. There we go. This is even enough. Yeah. We just got to wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh is... we gotta we gotta wait for Angela. We gotta wait for Angela. Uh oh look, good. he poured he poured a more presentable shot. Oh, look, pull it back just a little bit, Steven. Whoa, Let me see. Okay. Pull it back just uh, a little see. bit. No, pull it back so I can see it in the camera. That's oh no, she got real liquor. She got a crown. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Is that Blackberry? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, it's go, good, isn't it? I, it, it, it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. You don't like it? When, when, when it's I, I time 
uh, for Dash Bash. I'm gonna have to host, I guess. It starts all the trouble. <sighs> and sure enough, drink up buttercup. <laughs> he said, "Drink up buttercup." Hey, salud. Salud. Damn it. Chachi, you still trash. <laughs> 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 Chachi, it's not because you're brown. It's because you're Chachi. <laughs> Mine was smooth. I don't know what y'all do. <laughs> now, what? Hey, yeah. The only hey, person yeah. that's going I there. Is, I literally thought you were going to bring some spring water. Some alkaline spring water shot. I even had 100 yesterday thinking maybe it's just my taste buds. I tried their peach. Yeah, I, I don't like this either. No. I, like, I don't like it. No. Okay, I save them for me. Save them for me. No, I'm gonna come and collect those. I don't, know what, I don't like it. I don't Did even it like. Me? I don't even like brown liquor. But I did try the peach, and it is terrible. That's, no, I don't like it at all. It, it is I drink it over ice. I drink it over ice. I drank a like shot it. of it. Both of was bad. No, no, no. What I've got the big bottle in the freezer and pour it over ice. No. Yeah, I, Yo, the I crown like peach. The crown, crown peach. peach yeah. I'm, I would. I would show apple, you the crown my, apple. I do like. I will say. Oh, that. I love the crown apple. Bro, I love crown the crown peach, peach. and I like the blueberry. I'm not a fan of the vanilla. Uh, that one well, I, I can do without. Well, I don't do yeah. vanilla and, any liquor, and, so and, it doesn't matter. Blackberry. Vanilla. I didn't go crazy. Vanilla, over vanilla it. any liquor is just like. Jimmy, I'm with you. I, I just fan. bought the blackberry. I mean, you see, it ain't much Yo, more. But it's, I, bl- I drank the blackberry in like two days. Yeah. I couldn't do it, man. I, I, just, I poured it out. You well, poured it pour. out? That's alcohol <laughs> abuse. Never yeah. pour out liquor again. Save <laughs> it from me. I will come and get it from you. Let's go sit here and just look at me and look, I look at it every morning. Guess what? That's how I feel about the Blantons, okay? Brother, I don't, I don't, no, I don't, no, no. I don't, you know what? Don't they, pour the blends out. I'm not pouring lanterns out. Save I don't pour me. any liquor out. Wait a minute. Okay. I got to okay. go alcohol abuse. Yes. It wait, is wait, 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 Dash. I need to yell at you for a second because, first of all, I ordered your little shirt and I got the medium. Now, the mediums that I get are like Bruh. in the right in the area oh, down there. A little wide. You ordered it from oh, man, your, little, your little hoodie is like cut slim. It's like a little slim medium. I'm what like, oh man, or oh, a medium shirt. Medium. All, my, all my hoodies are medium, but they all no, fit. What grown man wears a medium shirt? First of all, <laughs> Ange, listen, listen. Not what grown man? See when you wear a medium shirt, listen. you be wearing tank tops every single time you jump on the live. You be, they, they they medium. No man, I I wear like uh, uh, there was a little bubble. Did you see the thumbs up? Did you see it? Was that me? I saw it. Yes. Hold on, you interrupted Steven. Oh, I I, I wear two. Okay, Jimmy, you have a medium. Shirt? I'm, I'm a bit tall. Me wear a medium shirt. Uh, no, I'm into the, the multiple X. <laughs> Marlon, you wear a medium shirt. Let me show you this. Don't put me in the middle of this. Ciao, y'all. Go Listen, do your thing. He, he, we not even gonna talk about how many X's I need. All right, I, 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 I know you. I think you were like because I don't, I don't, I, I do not like a, a tight fitting shirt. So I will get an extra size. Because I've never met a grown man that wears a medium shirt unless he was a jockey, like a a, a horse jockey, right? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Dash, do you have child sizes? <laughs> Apparently, I do. We can't, I do. we can't see it. We can't see Did it. Did you order a kid's medium? <laughs> you tell me. It, 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 Literally. Why is it a medium, man? Why is well, it a so close to the... I'm sweating. this. You can see all my lactations happening. I'm like, my wow. God. Like, quick, 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 quick. Please, please take Did the hood off. Please take the hood off. Look, look. Because I'm, I'm, I'm serious, man. Because every time I look at you, all I think of, they killed Kitty. You bastard. Take it, Please take, it, take, take it the hood off. Take it all in. Nope. Yep. No. Yep. Put me on there. Because you take this all in. Why, look at is, the, why is the writing so far up? I don't know. Why? This is. We should make a reaction. 
Just put the put the tablet down so we can see like all of it. Like yeah, we can see your belly button. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, we, oh, we're you gonna don't gonna have, gonna have on pants? pants you said? We're not going to go there. No. All right. Well, Why I'm are you live with no pants on? Like, quit. I'm, a, I'm right. a professional. I'm a professional. Listen. Oh, he, he like Victor. <laughs> <laughs> Lou says he wears 2X. So you're saying Quentin looks like a sausage in it. Yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, well, that's what I feel like, too. Is, this, is this that why Quentin positioned like his that? camera looking um, looking up to look a bit taller, bigger? Yeah. Carhartt's uh, pocket team. <laughs> look, look, listen to this. Look, FCB said, I haven't fit into a medium since the 10th grade. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is great. <laughs> so, all right, so Quentin, maybe that should be for your girl. So, is she smaller? Yeah, and then you can go ahead and pad my pocket and order another one for yourself. Just a little. Bro, I, I, I met her. I done gave you, I done, I done gave you three dollars. And, 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 no and if, three, if that's yeah. medium, I think you need to order an extra large or a two X. <laughs> See, no, and we're not doing that because I'm not there. I'm t- why, I'm is not there. why is the hood tighter on your head than the rest of the shirt on your body? He got a big ass head. That's but why. That's the Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> if that's the medium, you need to order an extra large. We ain't even for a large. You need to order an extra large or a 2X if that's the medium. I'm trying I'm- to figure out how I'm getting roasted right now for supporting the friend. <laughs> and you see this little, little, little ass shirt, and y'all should be on my side. I Listen, hold on, today. Quentin. Are you wearing a tear? At least. To, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so let let me just say this, all right, Quentin. To be fair, I do not control that. I don't have control over that. If you guys would like me to take ordering hoodies and t-shirts and things like that back into my hands, you let me know because the amount of work that goes into ordering t-shirts, having t-shirts on hand, sending t-shirts out. Quentin, 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 I'll give you, you the half you bottle of Blanton's I have left. You don't wear medium. Quentin, you don't wear medium. You don't. Like, what? Do you do no, no, you do not, not wear medium. medium. I will put on my medium hoodie from Lockheed Martin that I have. It, it, I should not be seeing that's your medium. Well, see, that's from Lockheed. It's just too tight right Lockheed here. goes I over have, budget and they on. oversize things. Ask me how I know. You do not wear medium. You just don't. If Even they have as a grown man, I wouldn't ever tell anybody I wore medium if I did wear medium. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no. I'm Hold these on. Where, is that? Where, look, this 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 comment needs to come back up. Bruh. <laughs> Angie's a <laughs> sick. <sister. laughs> Put that away. Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> look, she's not the only one, Lou. See Lou, what happens when Lou, you don't spend Lou. the extra money for a thermal pen? We don't do this. We don't do this. We had we had a great conversation last couple weeks. Don't do this. He put his hoodie in the dryer in the truck. Hey, I, I swear, I, I, I promise you. Are you sure it's a medium? Just like this is the medium. Why are sure? the words like right here though? I'm just trying to figure out why there's not much room between the words and the and the. I, and I don't I know. Make this. This is how it comes. This 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 is what they sent me. And I'm like, wow. I'm sorry, because. Listen, and I feel like this was right forty-five. Like, it's not supposed to be tight, right? It there. was how much? Forty-five, bro. There was like high. multiple options. You should have gotten the cheaper option. I gotta I go did. back. This was cheaper option, but it ha- had to pay for whatever the fees and stuff is. It came with like forty-five total. <sighs> All right, I gotta go in. I'm gonna go in and like mess with the settings because Quentin, Medium. I see it. We see it, Quentin. We see it. <laughs> Medium. See it. So if you're a medium everywhere else in the world, you're like, a medium on that store. So what hold on, but like even if you wore a medium in a t-shirt, right? Then like your hoodie, because you want it to fit over your t-shirt, wouldn't you get it at least the extra a, a, a size, size bigger? No. Yeah, all, right. all the hoodies are all mediums. Everything I have is a medium. If you have a shirt that's a medium. If you have a shirt that's a medium, your jacket is a large. You don't get exactly. a medium in a medium. Always bigger, that is, so that, that is hilarious, over. by the way. My name. I see what you did there, Dash. Marlon, hush. You didn't see the damn clip like everybody else did, so hush. No, no, Quint. Remember, a medium, a kid's medium, and an adult medium is two, two different size. Steven, okay. I ordered the adult medium. This is what this should be. I don't know. Hey, 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 does it hey, say hey, adult hey, medium or look, youth look, medium? Look, go check. I can check into a, a kid's medium right now. Go, go off it's camera and check. I'm with you. I'll mute you for a second. Look at, look at Sean. 
I'm I'm saying, saying, check, for a second. Dash, Yo, check, check. Dash, you should have did that. The more that he talking with that tight ass jacket on, he gonna pass out. Go take him off, hell. He gonna be oh hell. Look, look at Joshi. Joshi said, "If if you need, I'll donate to you. If you need to help getting bigger clothes, that's all you have. just ask. That's all you have." <laughs> I feel like I need to go feed the homeless now. There ain't nobody. Need Wait, to eat go ahead and hell. check check the hoodie. I can still see you. Check the hoodie and make sure it's not the youth medium. Yeah, check check the. Tag maybe they sure. sent you a small and fairness difference and um probably could be the brand of jersey <laughs> as well brand of the t-shirt. Is it a youth medium? It just says M. There's no. Uh, you guys probably can't see how to get it there. It just says yeah, M. I see the M. Probably it could be the brand of the um the, the sweatshirt. Yeah, yeah. small print. Did, did, did you watch uh, it? Did not you allow try it correctly? To play with this I haven't watched it. So it, 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 it. Again, this right. came straight out the box. I I tried it on. I was like, wow, this is really tight. Mm, and sorry, I was like, hey, but you didn't take oh, it here, out. Here's the, the brand. Box. Here's the brand. Like, like this is too little. Quentin been looking mm -hmm. for that. Look <laughs> 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 <And for magic. laughs> yeah. So Quentin, do you do you feel like you could fit this too? Like <laughs> and come on now. We we post Go ahead, hold it up again. There you go. Wow. Uh, I mean I can get at least one arm in that thing thing. It is I, I don't know. I, it just says it's a size eight. So why y'all putting why y'all putting Quentin in a one of these? <laughs> today is his turn. It's his turn today. See what happens, friends. I, I support my buddy. I don't merch, listen. And I just get roasted. And and, but you know what? If we didn't roast you, you would think something was wrong. The fact that I have props. Um, first of all, this tells you my daughter is fighting. Like, um, <laughs> is it her or is it you though? No, it's her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he putting it on the hanger. Look, why don't you send it back and be like, yo, I need a bigger size? Oh, they can get pants, Quentin. Yeah, huh? they, they'll fit you. <laughs> yeah. Them skinny. Oh, they the oh, they call them what, the, what they call them jeans? Oh, um tight legs. Or, <laughs> no, no. Oh yeah. Ooh, they're like the, the Levi's 501 button ups. <laughs> Remember them back in the day? Are those Jordaches you're wearing? That is <laughs> That is <laughs> Never owned a pair. Me neither. Clint, your head isn't going to fit in that shirt for sure. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to choke himself to death. It's my screenshot for every, all my social media pages. All right, go ahead. I appreciate you. Make sure. Hey, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just don't wear it no more. I can't wear it. I can, I can at least shout him out. <laughs> Damn, so, I'm sorry, dog. Like for real. That's so there's nothing you can do. Can you send it back? Because it don't. Yeah, I was about to say, send it back. I mean, you know, but you know, I was gonna when, say. When did, when did you get that? When did you get the t When did you get the sweatshirt? When did you get it? Oh, over two weeks ago. ago. It came. It came pretty quickly. Oh, you got plenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would so read back out to them and. and so in all seriousness, so Bertha Migo, I want to say what's up for you first. So I obviously, so uh, FCB says, is it a Chinese medium or a real medium? Um, the great question. Chinese medium. You know what? The, 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 no, no, joking aside, that is true. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. you can get some stuff from China that's just like, bro, this, this ain't no way. It didn't, I, I don't know what number you pulled out of a hat to say this is what it is, but it ain't. This is a Lockheed medium made in America. It covers me completely. Which so is here's the thing like, with that, Quentin. Uh, you know, a medium from back in the day is not a medium from today. Don't, don't, don't. That's it's right. not. It's not. No, it's all true. It's I, not. Have, I have 2XL hoodies and shirts from way back in the day that fit me to this day, but now... I'm in multiple, triple, double, quadruple, quintuple XLs because you know, it don't it don't fit the same. Like it don't fit the same. It's not it what is a extra large that used to be is not 
the same as what an extra large is today. And, and an, extra, an extra large not to be a medium. No. Wait, Trust Steve, me. how much do you weigh again? Huh? How much do you weigh? Uh, my weigh about 225. How tall are you, Steven? I thought you was six. How tall? Six two. Oh, so wow. Bigger, dude, 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 I am I am five nine one fifty three and a half. One fifty three and a half. Shut up, Dash. Uh, yeah, hush. No, the one fifty three and a half. Listen. What you want to do when next week you're gonna be what fifty three point seven? Like what the hey, that, that half may be a little the last little. I was gonna say I'm gonna find the picture of Quentin, but the picture I have of Quentin, he was sitting down. The half is nonetheless I'm a medium. That's my, that's my point in America. I don't think that was don't, Yeah, don't, but America don't, don't make you clothes, obviously, so don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. Quentin, this is not your day, dog. Just just let it be. <laughs> See, you know, I, I come on here, I, I support my buddy. Listen. But hold listen, on, Marlon's not that tall and he don't have the size of I he face the size he wears. But he said he I remember Marlon saying he was very free challenged. And so You know, I never said that, but okay. <laughs> I never said I was said virtual. We were giants. You said we were giants, so therefore I say you're very free challenged. Because y'all are giants. <laughs> How tall are you, Marlon? I'm I'm five nine five ten. Angela is six foot eleven. I'm five she's nine. Nine. Yeah, I'm about to say. How tall are you? Five ten. Oh yeah, you. My, so my, my girlfriend's five ten as well. I know y'all's five. Y'all's five ten is like see so y'all up here to me, and I'm five nine. I'm like then that means you're not five nine. I am five nine. <laughs> I was mostly in the military because my the five five nine is, yeah. is funny was okay, in the military. So, Dad, are you, you know, five, I know. Are you, are you, are you five eleven? Five ten? Five eleven. Yeah. Me, I'm six foot tall. Six foot. I'm about to say I know he's taller than I am. I'm, okay, so and and the what's funny is this, and I've talked about this before. Me being six foot of my male cousins, I'm the smallest of my male cousins. I'm yeah. I'm the shortest of my male cousins, yeah. with yeah. the exception of my baby brother. Yeah, but I'm I'm not the runt per se because I'm six foot three fifty versus my cousins who are six two to six six. How tall is who's the, oh Eddie's the tallest? Eddie's the tallest, yeah. And he's like six five six six. I think Eddie, I don't. I mean, I think I'm, I don't know if he's short. I think he's six four. Okay, all right. Well, still, D- Derek is six three or yeah. six four. Um, Brian uh, six two six three. Brian six two. David is probably 6'2", 6'3". No, David yeah, is 6'1". Yeah, I'm about 6'2", 6'3", sometimes. Let's and see. Aaron is like 6'1", probably. Yeah. He's just taller than I am. Yeah. So, and, and he looks I mean... gigantically tall. Taller than Aaron? Him. Yeah. And I guess uh, he's like... I he's guess He's wearing heels, David. He's, he's, he's wearing tall. heels. Yeah, I got, I, got, I got those boots. Yeah. He's wearing, yep, yeah, he's wearing, it, the, I, com- I won't say combat boots, but he's wearing platform shoes. Okay, okay, <laughs> or shoes with a heel on them. Yeah, I got that's what boots. that is. Walk around like I'm 6'4, like, I wish y'all would get out, you get out my damn way. Stomp on y'all's face. Yeah, anyway, I got those boots. You can't walk in heels, dog. <laughs> I, I'm not in heels, but I got, I got the boots. <laughs> boots he, he like, um, what's the dude from Texas? Um, oh, is it Texas that wears the, 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 the heel boots? That's Quentin. Uh, we have no idea who you're talking about. I said Ted well, Cruz. Okay. There we go. Finally, there it is. What? Sorry, been drinking. All right. So, Chachi oh, says five nine good. in the medium. Damn, you may be kid sizes. <laughs> yeah, can we just ban Chachi? I'm I'm sick of this. I'm just yeah. sick of this. <laughs> I'm suggesting suggest they're messing with the sizes lately. My shirts have been getting tighter. Yeah. Grumpus is not the shirts. It's, it's the shirt. It's, 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 it's the shirt. It's the shirt. Look, Grumpus says, I'm not the runt, but I'm the pick of the litter. Sure you are, Grumpus. <laughs> I think I am the shortest cousin in my family, regardless of the age. Mm. I'm, I'm not the shortest. And then so my I won't say my female cousins, but my female cousins. So Angela's five ten. I have a cousin Dana. She's five eleven. Dana's six feet. Even. Oh, she is. Okay. 
Um, Nedra, she's like 5'10, 5'11. Yeah, my sister, five. my sister is, is 5'10. She's taller than me. You met her. So, yeah, me. I was about to say. So the she's problem is me. this. I was sitting down when she walked in, and you were sitting down when she walked in. So I didn't get to be like, damn, you're yeah. tall, taller than Quentin? Yeah, no, my sister, because her, her dad is tall. We have different dads. Her dad is like 6'4. Oh. Her dad's 6'4. Yeah, my dad, okay. probably four foot two and a half. <laughs> Amazing, I got to this night with him. My God. Bert Amigo says his future girlfriend is uh, 36, 28, 36. All right, bro. The rap song is what we're doing. Good, good luck finding her because that don't exist no more. Yeah, he just had met her. She better not be silicone. <laughs> not this economy. Uh, yeah, SCB says, uh, yeah, DeSantis this is what I was, what I, who I was talking about. Oh, yeah. 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 Wearing yeah. the lifts. Um, yeah. Oh, no, not Ted Cruz. So DeSantis, I'm sorry. I said the DeSantis. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So, so did you see that the FCB said um uh Quentin by large, by damn large. Yeah. He just summed it all up. By large. Dude, large brother. I, I'm not I'm not going there until I need to go there. So I'm not there yet. We're Dude, not going just to buy an extra large. But you have, like, do you so you can have like, room to for push one minute, one underneath like, it. Like for just a woman, it's okay for your sleeves to be like this, right? Um, like I have on a large now because that's what grown people do. And so my sleeves are like, you know, like the right place. And but some women wear like the the shorter, like, you know, sleeves <laughs> and you know Mom, like, I'm sick of you. <laughs> he's, he's, like, yeah, he's, up. he's trying not to <laughs> he's trying not to bust out laughing. <laughs> Oh, oh, so that ship has sailed. It's too late for that. I, I don't know why I'm always the ridicule when I when we come on here for these things. You're not always the it's, person who gets it, ridiculed. It is. No, it's Chucky. No, it's not. It was so. It was just so. You know, I wear I wear the long because you know that's how you know how oh, pro people yeah. wear clothes. <laughs> Yeah. So, but some women wear it like this. Do you do you like yours where the sleeves is, are like you know? I mean, in the summertime, I I, I be rocking the ones just like this because they they're made like that. But that's it's like a woman's cut short sleeve. Ange, in about three weeks, we are gonna be best friends on LinkedIn because I have so many questions I need to reach out to you about. Are you about so, to change jobs again? Would you? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a yes. Just shit. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what that is. So I have one this because I was interviewing all yesterday. Um, listen, 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 listen. This shirt right here, this is a large, but it's too big. <laughs> it's not too big. There's no such thing as too big. Look at this. Look at this. No such thing as too big. Too big. Do you walk? Yeah. Do you walk around like that? No. Too big. Too big. Too big. Goes all the way down here. It's too big. Do you walk around like that? I have. Come on. Don't stretch it. Don't stretch it out. Don't stretch it out. Just leave it alone. Don't stretch it out. This is what it is. Don't stretch it out. Well, you already know, stretched it out a bit. You don't walk around. Hey, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? What's up? Hey, what's up? Like, you just walk around with the freaking shirt on. Don't stretch it out. You just walk around with the freaking shirt on. It's too loose. I don't no, know. so yesterday I had on a shirt that was too big. I had on an extra large shirt. Thanks, right? Mark, I appreciate and, you. And like this, the, the I felt like you know crazy all day because the the, the collar kept going, you know, all like this, and I had to edge shape. Wait, edge, you got a shout out, and this is great. You, we definitely need this because this is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking questions. I I like to know. I, I, I ask a lot of. She said, said inquiring age, minds age. want to know. Yeah, I'm just asking you questions because, like, I just never met a grown man that wears a medium. So, like, even if they do, they never advertise it. So, look, you advertise look, Ange, it, look, and it's recorded, Ange, and it's live. Ange, um, yes. my name is Quentin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet and you. And I wear mediums. I wear a medium because all of my hoodies are me Dude, I'm sounds like an AA meeting. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 And I don't want a shirt smaller than 5X. All right. 
Quentin, no, Quentin, don't take it personally, but you need to stop shopping at the big and tall. <laughs> Steven, you probably on my sides, brother, brother. What, what, what are we? He's there. Right. So, but there are fourteen people. There are fourteen likes, and now twenty-two people watching, and and we only have fourteen likes. So, go oh, ahead. Man. I, I feel like all these likes are just to roast me more. Is what this was happening. One of those now. groups. No, anonymous. tell Chachi to leave a like. A like. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. If, 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 if Chachi likes the video, I buy the small and try it on. <laughs> Quentin uh, Chachi says Quentin must only wear V necks to fit the big head. I am so Chachi. He's in Texas. Uh, I'm, I'm coming. I, how, how long was that drive with you? I'm <laughs> Mm, it was. It took me thirty four hours. That was with me stopping to take a nap, though. If I had, a, I'm gonna say, if I had, a, you know, somebody else driving, and I could like take a nap while driving. Like, Did you get a mattress in the back of the uh, thing, or you just no. crashed? No, I, I just crashed in the in the driver's seat. Like get the little ten dollar mattress back there, little little thing. Nah, man, it. it I could have, but. By the time I go through all of that to fit the mattress and all the other stuff that I had with me, fit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, don't 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 take that dish. Don't don't do that. You that's think I'm having a real life? Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Oh Jesus! You still got that uh, Maki Ange? I do. She does. Why would I have got rid of it? Or well, they, they got a new one. I don't know. They got a new one. They got a brand new one. I don't know. I'm just asking. Is it? The new one is just right. just a styling update. It's no, really see, you're wrong. The brand new one, new motors, new range, new charging time. Motors and an electric Mach-E. car. Yes, yes, they're motors. They're all new. But okay, but the range, the range still ain't matching mine because the I have range a is car. different. And the range, That's is great. mine is a California Route One extended battery. It has the best range out there. So unless it's a new California Route One, which they stopped making them with the extended battery, it's not matching my range. You know, I just want to give Angel a hug so bad. Like she, she's it's just say it again with all the neck. Like all the neck. I'm trying to help you. Like, oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yeah, just the you, you, Go ahead. it was just, I'm just I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, not like I don't like the highlight on me. Um it's a lot. It's a lot of me. Brooklyn came out. I was, Brooklyn was in there. You know that. The, the, so the, the, the new, the new like key is faster. Everything is. Uh, I saw the bug move, and it was like, "Oh, she, this means business." No, it's sitting on top of your head. It's not really. Oh, my bun. Yeah. Yeah. Then she got the cat woman glasses. This is cute. <laughs> oh, that look, you What's need up, to say Marcus. <laughs> the Earth and Kit glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Mar- it's Mar- Mar- I gotta watch that movie this weekend. I gotta watch Boomerang this weekend. I love that movie. Like I reported Chachi's channel to, to YouTube. I'm I'm sick of him. <laughs> you reported Chachi's channel <laughs> right to the top. Oh, also, I forgot to tell you, Dad. These might be our connections. We're going straight to the top. So here, here's what we have decided to do, Dash. We have decided to drive from here to DC instead of taking a train. So my dream of that's taking only a train. like four hours, dog. It's, it is only four hours. It's that's not a long four hours. Oh, Hold on, we talking about hours. Charlotte. Charlotte is six. Um, Raleigh yeah. is four. Oh, okay. Yeah, Charlotte to DC. Cause okay. we're literally, cause we're literally getting off the ship, and the next week, next weekend we're heading to DC. Okay, well, let me know when you you have my number. Let me know when you yeah. are in DC, and I will try to make sure I can come through, just to hang but, out. Okay, so Marlon, I've been in Miles for three years. 
God damn it. Here we go. You been in what? In my house. I have not been to her house. For three yeah. years. Now, mind you, two of those years was COVID. Okay. You. Yeah, that's not, that's not going to fly, dude. Immunocompromised. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. But, but I saw you during COVID. I saw you. What, what's Baltimore to DC? An hour, not even. Yeah. Because we're going and to the south. further south than than DC. Okay, I didn't, I didn't. I mean, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that the fact that I've been in my house for three years and like for three years you you have not driven down here. I've driven up there once, so I do take that. But I, I know I drove up there another time, but you were out of town, and I knew you were out of town. You were in Philly when I drove up. Yeah, I will make it my business to get down there. Cause I do owe you, and I, you know, even when we came down to see you for your birthday, I told you know the missus, I'm like, yo, I gotta get to Angela's house. I gotta she get to Angela's house. Fifteen minutes from the house. Then. Yeah, but that one that night, I was torn up, and I had to get home. So, did I did a good job, man? Yeah, well, it wasn't you per se, but the you know, well, I made the drinks. Um. The pre-made drinks, she was watering them down. I made them. I'm trying to think what it was. Well, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. But I also added to my drinks. You Because I had my own. um, You were doing the crown peach and the southern peach uh, tea. Yes. Yeah. But I also added to my drink because I brought my own. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) Because the whole thing was... She Can't had people. You know, I know nowhere, nowhere, nowhere. And I mean, you, you, you were a recipient of you know, but yeah. So the so the whole thing was she had a she had a jar, but she had simple syrup in the jar, and I was like, what is that? And she was like, oh, that's just simple syrup. She was like, oh, you you wasn't playing, it was you. I was like, no, I'm I don't play about my moonshine. And she's like, well, no, I don't have any. All right, well, and uh, boom, I was like, I got my own. She's like, you can't show me that. I was like, <laughs> go ahead and mix mix my drink, and I'll go ahead and top it off. <laughs> right. But I top my like, the sangria. I top it off with Grandma Ye, so he doesn't love me. Nope. Love me. <laughs> and you know, like, like he has a title for me, right? So he has a title for me. And... Mm-mm. But well, yeah. well, the the best barbecue place according to internet is really close to Angie's house. So. Randy, it, it's literally I can. I mean, I won't, but I could walk there. Like I just won't though. Gotta go check that out, Dash. I know. Listen, man, my I, Saturday, I and, and he can't even deny that. Like I, I like one hundred percent. Marlon, you coming up here when now? <laughs> 28th with Lurk and sounds April like we're actually, even the 29th. Like we're April 28th, June 28th, June. Uh, shit. Like we're right. coming I'm, in, I'm we're coming life. in, we're going to the graduation, and we leave it right back out. Oh, so Friday and Saturday. Oh, June. Yeah. Oh, mm. yeah. Not I'll be in Nashville for a wedding. I ain't even got my calendar. Let me check my palm pilot. Palm pilot. Like, I don't even have my calendar set past me. I'm supposed to go to Philly. Can you babysit? I, I, I'm not even complaining if I don't meet up with anybody because it's like it's just really a feels like they're talking as if it's just a really quick roundabout. Like we in the 28th, we're gonna do what we do in DC, and then the 29th, we go to the graduation, and then we're Roll it right back out. So, Jenny Boy didn't enjoy DC. Like, who does that? Corny folks. So, did you hear me? Can you? Like it was my decision. Huh? It's not, it's not talking about corny folks. Just stay up all night and go out. Is it? Oh. It's not my decision. It's not on me. <laughs> I did not decide that. <laughs> What what day are you are you going to Philly, Angela, or going out of town? Um, and whenever you can say yes, you'll watch my kid. Well, so the next two weekends, I'm look. I got to go to Philly on Saturday, 
because Taste Test number one is going to visit Temple. And then oh. next Saturday, I know, I know, let's not even talk about it. Then next Saturday, I know I have something else going on because the missus told me, don't don't plan anything for the 27th. Okay. Okay, so the Taste Test number 102 available. You have to talk to them. Okay, I'll take Because that. Taste Test number two has sporting events that go on on the weekend sometimes. So I- Taste Test number one. When well, your brother's to... playing the whole week, uh, I, I have to tell you off, off, off this recording. Okay, all right. Well, okay. Yeah. So I'm about to say I, look, I had to look at the cam the the calendar. Um, uh... <laughs> 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 and for the record, Angela does not live across the street. If Angela lived across the street, there should be. You drove, you drove all the way to Boston, then I live across the street. Okay, that was to see a once in a lifetime. Um, is it not, not a uh, once in a lifetime event? Come see your favorite cousin. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. You know, that mm. could end up a one in a lifetime of it. <laughs> Actually, go see Angela. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yo, Uh-oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Y'all see that? Oh, no. Look, look, at, look, at, look, at, look at Mr. Peer Pressure there. Look at Mr. Peer Pressure. Oh, man. Steven shot. Okay. Steven. Steven is really. He's feeling himself tonight. Wait, yeah. Steven, put it back up. Let me see what you got. He drank it already. Yeah, he already drank it. How much was it? It? it was the Ray and Nephew. Was, was Listen, it a Steven I'm, shot or a regular full it shot? Was a, it was a Steven-esque okay, shot. Here we go, Steven shot. Oh, so you don't pour a whole shot, Steven? You just pour half a shot? Yo, and, at 150 and, proof, he gets a pass. 150, yeah. Like, when it's I play you for punching, my... <laughs> that's, that's that's been the proof. That's, that's a half shot. shot is a real yeah. shot. Yeah, yeah. Angela... Trust Listen, I'm doing I, I'm doing the I, weak I, stuff right now. <laughs> so punching, I do a cap pull, like the cap, like then it comes. Really? <laughs> yes, that's a whole shot. I'm me. actually surprised that you oh. actually drink though. What's on that cup? Yeah. Uh, Angela drinks? Dude, Andy's yeah. a whole thug. Don't don't let the oh, yeah, she's she a, a thug, thug for real. She grew up in Suitland, Maryland, in the midst of PG County. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> Look, somebody who somebody who barbecue cabbage. I just did not think would be a drinker. <laughs> that was, you know, ooh, goodness. It's, I also been hot. out in Trinidad probably more times than Stephen, so an out out in them drinks. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh. boy. <laughs> Jackie going in on you. <laughs> Hey, um, hey, Quentin, Quentin, just to you know, just to give I'm, you a I'm just to give you a heads up, head. bro. Just to give you a heads up. Don't go to Nashville wearing no hoodie. Well, I'm not wearing that little ass hoodie for sure. I roasted that way most right now. My God. Mm. Okay, so can you contact that company and like get your money back? Just return. Just well, return. I would just, I would just ask for an order size, a bigger size. Yeah. No, no, it's fine. I will get a hoodie fine. to. It's not fine. That, that is definitely not fine. And you look like a whole condom. Wait, right? whoa, 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 wait. We spent a whole hour on here, which you complained about how tight that thing is. Now you talking about this fine? I am letting people know who want to order some merch from Dash. You might want to go. Seven sizes up because oh, it's so small. I have so extra large from and and extra large is the super big. Hey, I'm not I'm like, no, I'm not hey, Put the I XL in. When I actually got it, like probably like three sizes smaller when I got it, and it's still huge on me to this day. And um, so like don't don't be misrepresenting my cousin's stuff. 
and I, but I'm not there. I'm just not gonna ever accept. I'm trying to figure out where Angela is going with this. Like you, four hundred pounds sitting on the camera. Why would no, you do so... something that big? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, to, again, what are you so doing? Gonna, so hold on, Marlon. I'm gonna say this right. So to be fair, the shirt Angela has is one that I, I, I administered. I went to a screen printer and had them done. So they, they, the sizes run true. And I didn't order many small sizes. Um, I ordered true sizes. So when Angela helped me way back when, I gave her a extra large or large shirt. So her, her shirt is a extra large or large. Quentin's went through Teespring. And unfortunately, um, Teespring, that, that, um, that hoodie through Teespring was not apparently correct. I feel like I need to reach out to Teespring and be like, yo, um, I had someone place an order and he was less than impressed with the order. <laughs> and I would like another one sent to him. And it had the screenshot of the live. Um, Wait a minute. So, so am I getting this with some dash? Like, <laughs> Angela helped you out. Angela helped you out with the shirt? No, no, no. Angela, yeah. yes. And she she did an event with me a long time ago. I did several events with him, and he fired Angela, me. Don't I didn't fire her. <laughs> I mean, I, all I'm hearing is Angela helped you out in the early parts of your business. Yes, she did. And you can't go see her. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Ooh. You better be putting that middle finger up in a mirror because that's all Ooh. he needs. <laughs> so he going to he he get the chalky treatment. Dash is trash. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the audio sounds on this thing at? Because my goodness, shots are fire. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> hey, Dash. Yo. I think this is the first time you've had Angela over me before. <laughs> hey, stop looking over his skirt, okay? <laughs> we talking about the shirt being. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. All right, there we go. Look, there you do. Let me speak about the reaction to that. Yeah. Ahead, I dare you. I dare you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and look, 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 look at that look, one, look, okay? Look, look. Oh, yeah. She would find out once you go gray, you want to stay. <laughs> 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 oh man, oh, dude, you guys are hilarious. So, Christopher from Slaughterhouse, he said, What's up, fam? How you doing? Where's that? Where that sounds good? I mean, I don't oh, look, we got <laughs> go ahead, do it again. Go ahead, I don't know what happened again. I got hold like, for a long time. Put, put the deuce, yeah, like, but do the other one too. Oh, oh my god. god. So so hold the your thumb thing. up like this because it happened when you did that too. No, a little closer. There it is. Oh, look, there you go. Like, oh, it just popped by itself. So. That was okay. Now yeah. move on. The 10? <laughs> I no. thought the good did something. No, it didn't do anything. Cause do the you know, they, when they do like stuff like that, like when they talk with their <sighs> You'll see like little balloons and hats and stuff like that. Yeah, you try a little stuff. You have a Mac, Steven? No, no. Oh, it only works on the Mac. I'm about to say, yeah, Steven's I using his cell phone. Yeah, I'm using my iPhone. Oh. No, I was, I was telling um, Quentin to do the two thumbs up. Oh, the two thumbs up. Oh, he's in Dallas. Yeah, wow. Oh! Wow. Fireworks. Wow. That's weird. Steven know all the cheat codes. All right, so Christopher says he's in Dallas designing his barbecue your, logo. Christopher, right. you take your, take you your time. When it comes to your logo, take all the time in the world. Do not rush it. Whatever you decide on, you have to really love it. Like it a lot, but <laughs> but you you're the one that has to live with it seriously. So yeah, and don't get some some obscure thing that you actually have to explain to people what the hell the logo means. Like get something that just flat out tells you 
this is what my business is. Don't get some rabbit coming out of a hole and everybody like, what the hell is this? So I thought that was a problem. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna wait. We're not trying to be serious. I try to be serious. No, nope, they don't want to be. Gonna wait. <laughs> We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Oh God! Good night, nice. buddy. My name is Change. What was happening? Oh God! Chunky. Say something. Number two says good night. You want to say good night to everyone? That's why I said hey, cousin. Mm, oh yeah, you did see him walk past. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, cousin. Uh, you are way better at eating good spicy night, wings night. than your dad. How you doing? I am no. He says no, you're you way don't, better don't, at eating don't, spicy don't, wings. Don't, don't do that, that Cash. Don't do that. That's what don't he said. Yeah, that's what he said. You know, you met Clinton. Oh, he made that. Glasses. Yeah, he better. doesn't have his glasses on. He couldn't see you. Hello. What's up, man? Yeah, that way. Way. Oh, you're way better. Yeah, you're than you're not. He's not. He's going to bed, man. Let's go to bed. He's sleep. I'm sleepy too, brother. I, y'all I, I, see? Y'all see how he looks just alike? He looks just alike, and they act just alike. It's crazy. We do act alike. Well, he acts yeah, like I do. Just alike. And they, they, and they look identical. just alike. It's so crazy. You made look wrong. Identical. And they sat at the end of the table in front of each other. You you wouldn't. I've known who was on either side. They're identical. I was like, that shit, that. Like, like since he was little, I was like, oh, this is crazy. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then he acted just like, and then he began mad at him. He was always on. Punishment. I don't. I don't. Not anymore. I don't. He was always on punishment. Always. Like I used to come up there every weekend. He was on punishment every weekend. Dash, really like, I'm like, he did the same thing you did. You did that too. Like, why are you getting mad at him? Really, Dash? That's what we're doing. What's that? Dash, that, that's your guy. That is your guy. <laughs> your guy. I know, but I mean. Okay, I actually got to take, I actually take up for Dash on this one. I actually got to take up for Dash on this one. It's, Mom, you will be amazed how many times I have put my kids on punishment and went, looked at my wife and go, but you know we did the same thing, though, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. The difference is that, so out of your kids, do you relate to one of them as like, damn, that is 100% me? Because so, I think GT2 is like 100% that. I, I, I've met him for all of, what was that, like maybe two and a half hours? Yeah, yeah. But man. I have four step kids who's been in my life for 22 years, but so they're my kids. So my middle child acts like me. Like she is a jam packed, literally just acts like me. She talks like me. She 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 just she's that type of person, like you, you know we're not blood, right? Why are you Acting so the way like me, yeah. but you act exactly like me. Well, that's everybody him. else, nah. He is really. my second. He is the middle child. So, yeah, she is. Wait. Oh crap! She literally is in the middle. She has <laughs> two older and two younger. Wow, she's flat out in the middle. Yeah. What's even? I just had a. I just had an experiment right there. Like, no, no, no. She's flat out in the middle. Remember, yeah. Dash, when we had those wings, you had the, 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 the spiciest ones, and he was like, Yeah, let me get those too. Like, y- y'all, y- I'm telling you, like, the mannerisms, everything was just like outside looking in, just meeting y'all. Damn, that is. That is definitely his kid. I just know, he went, I just know I, he went off on taste test at number one. You know. You don't rub that on there. You just dab the sauce on there. You don't. You don't wipe it on there. No. Dab it on there. Mom, the CCT. No, see, TT number one. He out there making ribs, ribs on, the, on the grill. Oh my god! Oh my god! No, no. Dash we don't do that. Ever. We we don't do that. <laughs> we don't do that. Not at all. Let that man be great. Oh, hell no. Nah. Let him. Mm-mm. Let him be great. TT too. I'm telling you, that's that's him. What happened to Steven? 
Uh, he must have lost the internet or had to drop off. So, I don't think they have weather down there too. Yeah. The hey, blind man. Dave says, "How's everyone this evening? We are fantastic. Good. We're having a good time. So you missed it, um, except for Chachi. Well, you missed like Quentin's. He he changed his name from Mister Tri Tip to Schmedium, and then he changed it to Q. I, th- I didn't change my name back to Marlon. I didn't. I have not changed anything. I'm being roasted for helping a friend out, guys. This he did. No, okay." Show. For everybody to miss all the for everybody to miss all the highlights, we have discovered that Quentin can do magic by using his fingers and stuff will pop up in the background. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Give him a thumbs up, Quentin. It probably won't work now, but here we go. It'll work. A little higher. There you go. All right. Uh we Give also figured out that Whoa, Quentin, yeah. Quentin has yeah, absolutely no business the balloons. How'd you do the balloons? Not a wrong man. Turn, turn it this the way a little bit. Yeah, Quinn has no business whatsoever wearing a medium anything. Mark, see, see, we we were doing so um, good. We were doing and, so good. And no matter how much help Angela has done to help support <laughs> Dash, he will not go see her. No, oh, I haven't yet. I mean, in three maybe, years. I mean, not for nothing. Mm-hmm. And blame and, and blame and blame the pandemic on it. I didn't blame the pandemic. I said that was a good, not a good, but that was the reason why I didn't go down there sooner. But I'm going. All right. So now here's the thing, right? See, he goes, he goes something crazy. He goes something crazy. He goes something crazy. Here we go. Here we go. No, no, no. Not. I'm not gonna say anything crazy. Aside from the fact that my weekends are not my weekends. That's the only time I can really get down to Angela's house because it's two hours down there and two hours back. But it's not two hours, though, is it? It really is two hours. Angie's like hours, 40 minutes hours. from me. It is really two hours to get to Angela's minutes. house. Mm. You said what now, Angela? An hour 45? Hour 45. That's a, so that's two hours. That will, I thought you were in Upper Marlboro. Marlboro. No, she's in Waldorf. Closer to Waldorf than Upper Marlboro. Exactly. Hey, you're in the Waldorf. Oh, my God. Man, you you see? In the, wow. So Shit. I have to equate for four... <laughs> To five hours of drive time, and my but, problem is it's more than that. But when he stole my friend, but when he stole my friend, my oh. friend lived farther than me. And no. he go down this. Oh, yes, Angela, 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 you don't have to use that. Angela, you don't have to use that argument with Dash. Do you know how long I have heard? Oh my God, it's only eight hours. Oh my God, it's only six hours. Oh my God, it's only. <laughs> Four hours. It, it, oh my God! Hours. Hours. It's too- but let me say this: Ange, Ange is thirty minutes from me, and two miles apart. I know how to unmute myself. And you <laughs> can't do that, can you? <laughs> Ange is so back now, Marlon. Ange is so back. Ange is so back now. What? So welcome back, Stephen. We that's, for, that's for me and Ange. Roughly. Mm-hmm. What's the hour and 12 minutes? And how are you going to go over the hour and 12 minutes? You, you have to go over a bridge to, to get to her from where I live. Oh, yeah, you do. Yeah, oh. you, you can hey, go to the city, though. You can go yes, to the sir. city. Is that bridge still out? Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's going to be out for a long time. Hey, man, the, they talking right about here. that bridge going to be out for um, multiple years. Why am I highlighted? I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <I> was... <laughs> you trying to die tonight. You trying to die. You no, no, no. So you know what? Talk shit about his hoodie again. There you go. I'm gonna be hype. Like you can see his pulse. I mean, at least I got my teeth clean yesterday, so you know they think Yeah, it's, it's sparkling. <laughs> <laughs> bling, bling. Look, this is how she gonna talk for the next couple of weeks until until the couple oh, kick in. Until the color. Walk, every person that she, she walk up to, she, she just gonna act like she knows them. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? How you, how you doing? Go ahead. <laughs> I ain't get them white. Nothing got them clean. I'm not mm-hmm. like you. 
Oh, it's been <laughs> such a it is such a long day. <sighs> <laughs> Zero grumpus. Zero. Sorry. Um <laughs> it would take a few. You lying, you're lying on your ass. No, I'm going to start stations to my house next because there are zero, st- there are zero between stations between her and Angela. Him and Angela. Hold up. I feel like no, no that's that's better rock on right now. There, you, you have to charge, charge at all. Don't do. I that. wouldn't need to charge. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. So, all right, so let's you can charge when you get to my house. Exactly. She she has an EV. I when I got to your house, what are you talking about? All right, so. Yeah, but you had to, all right. I didn't so have here, to. Don't do, don't do that, Dash. Don't yeah, do that. Yeah, but she has the long range model. I don't. Dude, you could. Can... I don't drive slow, Quentin. That's the you thing. Drive slow. You oh, can still. Oh, no, he doesn't. Your car can't go 230 miles. Who? Mine? If you went no, you you charge at 100% no, and then drove to her house, you couldn't get there. No. You no. Know what? No. That's ID4. You don't have 100, what's it, 140? I can do 140, yes. Yeah. He doesn't have, but like mine is 365. So that's why I'm like, I didn't have to charge mine. Brand new. So, Quentin, listen to this. Brand new, my vehicle was rated to get 250 miles at 100% charge. At 100% charge, I now get closer to 200, but, but, I don't get more than like 160, <laughs> 165 no, I because care. I drive I faster. Don't believe, I don't believe you. Because you know, because my hoodie was messed up. I don't believe you. No, no. I'm putting you All right, out. listen. No, I'm gonna no. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for a volunteer to drop off. No, I ain't no volunteer. So we can, no, hell we no. can get no, we can get Christopher on the live stream. All you right, Jimmy. Edge. You Jimmy, don't thank you very much. And Steven, you well, who's gonna drop off? You, Steven, or or Jimmy? No, or I'm you're good. both dropping off. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I need to go. All right. Well, look, um, uh, Jimmy, thank you very much, man. Um, Jimmy, some guys, some guys drink with me. Brother Steven. See you, brother Jimmy. Have a good one. Take care. You too. Have a good All one, right, Jimmy. fellas. Take guys, care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Give me a town around where you live. Catonsville. Oh, me? What's that? Catonsville. Gotcha. I think you can get them on one battery at ninety percent. Really Christopher, do. hello, Christopher. Hello, hey, sir. Uh, how y'all doing, fam? Can well, y'all hear me? Fantastic, fantastic. Look, you know I'm appreciating the beer right there. It, you, you know, you need some more gray in it, though. No, I can't stand the gray. It makes me look older than what I feel like. Because I got Bruh, one like right listen, here. Listen, just because this. you feel old doesn't mean you have to actually act old. Because just because you get old doesn't mean you have to act that way. Right, you can't see it. Trust me. Single gray hair. Oh, man, no. Hush. Single gray hair. Hush. I'm. I'm. I'm gray. <laughs> <laughs> no. Quentin. So where are you checking in from? Or excuse me, Christopher. Where are you checking in from? Checking in from Dallas, Texas. Oh, oh man. God. Let me just turn the whole thing off. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Dallas? Oh, I can let me count the ways. Yeah, <laughs> I need to figure out how to turn this camera around so I turn can the, uh, turn the phone sideways. Turn sideways. Oh, see, he didn't have, turn yeah, it the other have, way. Yeah, you're gonna have to go into yeah, you're gonna have to go into settings. You have to go into settings. So, um, it's okay. Yeah. I'm trying to it, see we, if I can fine. even flip. If I could even look, flip the here, camera around, what I'm gonna do though, then, like uh, the brother said earlier, to uh take my time when I'm designing my uh logo. I've been doing this for about about a good week and a half now. Okay. So I'm fixing to try to show y'all so far what I've got. Okay. Uh, since I can't flip the camera around, I'm gonna just have to do it like this, so to speak. Let me see. Oh man, that's a, that's damn, that's nice. That is huge. That is nice. I like it. That little like bull it. in the center? That's a longhorn. Yo, Texas. I would say that. that <laughs> it's very much a longhorn. You are 45 minutes from me. You know, the no longhorn charge. females also have horns. Uh, It's okay. Not just the bulls, Quentin. 
when I see you with this little ass. I, 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 I really do like that. F around and find out, Quentin. Go ahead on. Go ahead on. Quentin, see. Don't make me have to shoot you. So the house, my own thing I'm going to say, because that looks great. We I was like, put, 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 put the red eyes in there too, around. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I I like that. I really do. Yeah, no, I, man, I, for I real. Like that. That'd be hot. But but Christopher, do you like that? I love it. It's coming from my head. I'm I'm doing everything myself, so I absolutely love it, and I appreciate your insight on that. Yeah, that's hot. I like that a lot. But I, I will want. to. I, I do want to say this. You all are the reason why I took that leap of faith. And instead of cooking and being uh good at the barbecue, to actually go out and try to sell it and become my own entrepreneur and try to start this venture off. And I want to That's thank up. you, Dash, because oh, if it man. wasn't for you putting your experiences, your failures, in uh online for others to see who might yeah. be uh apprehensive about doing it and you made it seem like okay even if you make mistakes it's okay it's a part oh, it of the process it so is. that's what i've been doing christopher is this you uh no sir all right i'm trying to find so i did a search for slaughterhouse barbecue uh, it's just got to go on Facebook. It's really just on Facebook. Okay. It's, right. it's under my uh, it's under my original name, Christopher Slaughter. I just had a slaughterhouse barbecue in the middle. Okay. Ooh, and I do on have. Instagram at all? No, I'm I'm kind of new to this social media stuff. So uh, before this week over with, I was told that I need to get an Instagram, get a uh, get on Snap, get on TikTok. Nah, so and, I tell you that the most important one is going to be Instagram, and if you have a placeholder on Snapchat, it's good. But between Instagram, Facebook, and I want to say Twitter, but you know Twitter, yeah, exactly. Instagram, TikTok, grown folks on Instagram, <laughs> uh, TikTok. <laughs> man. People be people be buying stuff off the of TikTok. I don't, I, you know, I don't do no social media, so I'm telling you horrible advice. Like the only time you'll see me is on LinkedIn, so. And, and get yeah. real and, and get LinkedIn. real comfortable with YouTube, but please do not put all your effort into YouTube okay, so until you feel comfortable with doing it. Do not please do when it comes to YouTube compared to other places, you gotta learn editing and blah 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 and this and that and all the other stuff. Hey, you're trying to build a business. When you Instagram. get the business up and running. Dude, what you talk about some MySpace? When you <laughs> when you when you're building a company, when you're building a business, when you're building a brand, that's you build the brand and then reach out to everybody else. It don't make any sense to get everybody all hyped up for your company. And it's like, uh, I can't do that. I can't. I can't do that. I I I can't do that. I can't do. Get the get the business running. Get the blueprint down to a science, and then you can throw yourself out there. I wouldn't even say wait though, because I didn't wait. I just had everything in line, and then I started no, making mistakes. I, yeah, but I didn't. So I mean, I, but so now here's the, here's the thing, Christopher. Like now, what you see now. <laughs> Is ten years in the making, like literally ten years in the making. Uh oh, hold on, let's let's, let's let him put your arms up, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that we, that we <laughs> Look, but you said, look, you can't take it. We need to know. You good, dog? Hold on, hold on. We got we got to check on Chris, yo. Chris, you all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. All right. All right. Look, look. So, hey, Christopher. Look, you can't take in weed and knowledge at the same time. So that's <laughs> all. Play, bro. I, I, I got to prove Why you wrong right up? there. Because while I was coughing and inhaling, I heard him say that this was 10 years in the making. Okay. So 
with that said, that lets me know it is the process and don't give up and keep on pushing. Bro, keep it pushing. Yep. Keep it pushing. Sit there and take that mala. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look. Here go. Bangosa Broso. He he done got a request, yo. You might you know, go ahead. Puff up pass, yo. <laughs> yep. So so family, y'all can drink. I'm the smoker. Yo, you got that dog. I will listen. I will yeah, hey, y'all got clearances, brother. You said yeah, exactly. I need the, I need the legal stuff, okay? The yep. stuff that I ain't, I don't have to worry about my clearance on. You so you, you, if I ever get brave enough to tell you what my show is, I got a co-host that will sit there in the middle of the show. Marlon, we're not doing this. We're not gonna do this. Anyway, so so, nope. so <laughs> let, let me just let me put myself on blast real quick, right? So Christopher, let me let me just put this to you. I started doing barbecue well before I started putting stuff on YouTube, right? And then once I started putting stuff on YouTube, I'm like, oh, okay. And then in 2014, I was finally like, uh, you know what? I got something for Marlon. I mean, for, for Quentin. Yes. I was... for, in 2014, I said, all right, I'm going to officially launch my company. And the whole thing was I created a website. I created a, a Instagram page. I created a Twitter, Twitter page. Excuse me. And also created a Facebook page. Even though I didn't use all of those things, I created them as placeholders so that if I needed to put something out onto each or any of those, you know, places, I could. With that being said, the one that I'm most, um, I won't say uh, uh, active on is Instagram because Instagram, IG. you know, is like this. But the thing with Instagram is I was active in the looking at other people's things since versus having people look at my page and how I grew my Instagram was not by posting a bunch of pictures. I posted pictures and they kind of stayed static. But what I did was you live in Houston, right? Dallas. Oh, da I'm sorry. You live in Dallas. Sorry. I, I kept trying to put it to a better city. Um, you live in Dallas, right? <laughs> so the whole thing is you're going to do a search on that hashtag Dallas, all right? And what you do is you like any person's picture that has food in it. And then what they'll do when you like their page, their picture, yo, who is this person that liked my, my picture? They're going to come back to your page. So what you have to do is you have to make sure that you tell them who you are in that little blurb about what your Instagram, you know, about what your Instagram is. So, you know, for, for proof of concept, I'm going to show you what mine says. All right. Yes, um, sir. I got a login to Instagram. So just bear with me a moment while I get this set up. Um, still doing smokers. Boom, boom, boom. And then I want to, I'm going to break this down to you so that you can say, okay, this is what I need to, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to show. Because the whole thing is when people come and they look at you at your profile, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, boom, that's what it is. All right, so now I'm going to come back here. Stream yard. And I agree with this hundred percent. Instagram marketing is backwards. It's so You're not going to get people to just find your stuff. You have to go out and look for it. Like you have Hashtag to look for it the out things. there, man. Yeah. Yep. So this is what I'm saying. Um, so you look, here's my profile, right? Still drum smokers. 4,596 posts. Man, you're over 10 ass. years. That's, that's very slow because the last couple of years I haven't been posting very much. 8,400 followers, 2,900 following. Steel Jones Focus Barbecue, hear him. Small event catering and on-site grilling. I'm telling people what it is I'm doing from jump, okay? Okay. And then I say, hey, on YouTube, SDS BBQS, that is my YouTube channel, okay? Five plus million views. Okay. Twitter, Twitter, SDS BBQ. Hashtag Baltimore, Maryland, D.C., Virginia. Hashtag SDS BBQ, hashtag BRBQUE. 
There's my phone number. If you want to text me, and there are plenty of people who have texted me and, you know, hit me up, and boom, they, they, you know, reached out and said, hey, I saw you on Instagram. Boom, boom, boom. Let me let me know what it is. But the whole thing is that that first line. All right, Quentin, I feel like I'm, I'm going to have a message incoming. Dash, that just real, I, I need you to please put this out there. That is What's not that? your actual phone number. Dash. That is. Listen, I, I mean, if you're bold Dash. enough to send me a text message, I'm bold enough to reply. Dash, so just be that. prepared for don't the reply. That. Tell them you can make a Google number and it can be text to your yes. phone the same way. So, and that's the that's the thing. That. that is my Google number. <laughs> All right. You. Thank you that for is, saying that. That is my Google number. Holy that... shit! My blood was about to boil over out of my body. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So the reason is this, right? I have a personal number and I have my business number. That and Quentin, I'm about to I'm about to blow your mind. That number has been the same since Graham Central Station. That's how long I've had that number because I had a small business that I was trying to get off the ground and I knew that I couldn't give people my 215 number. So I gave them, I created a number via Google that was a 443 number, which was local to Baltimore. Because I got a quick. I'm tracking. I'm tracking. All right. So hold on quick. Christopher, what's the question? The question is, uh, I heard y'all say something about a Google number. Uh, yes. So go out to Google Voice or voice.google.com. Voice. Voice.google.com. And, 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 and this is so people won't actually have access to your yep. actual real phone number. Yes. You're but it'll it still reach my phone. Yes. 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 And okay. The is, there, is, you, is there a fee for that? No. No, no sir. This is free. It's free. Okay. Thank the only, you. I appreciate that. The only that. bad thing is there's a layer, okay? And that layer sometimes can create a little bit of an issue. Like if someone sends you an image to the Google Voice number, it won't pop up on your phone. You actually have to go into Google Voice and look at the image. Right. Yes, Angela, that is true. And by the put some records off. Go, go plug it, girl. Hold on. What did you say? Mine started showing up on my phone now. Nope, not at all. So Google Voice will not give you will not send the image directly to my phone any longer. It used to, but not any longer. Oh, okay. Um, because... I don't much anymore. Ah, well, no. It, it does it not... I give, I give that number to coworkers. I don't no. give them my real phone number. Nope. You can get a like text no message directly, but the text message pops up in Google Voice. It doesn't pop up natively as your text message. It used to, but not any longer. But I think I think Dash, what you should explain to Chris is specifically how this works regarding his specific phone number. If he puts his phone number as his profile, I'm sorry, the, the Google Voice get, number as his profile, what would happen? So here's the thing: you've heard of telemarketers, you know what telemarketers are, you know what spammers are, and and the whole thing is when you put that get Google Voice number as your number, you have a layer against those those spammers those telemarketers, those people who are just going to try and blow up your phone and do other things. Um, I have had my same cell phone number since 1998. I do not want to lose my cell phone number. Because of that, anytime I have an interaction with someone new, I give them my Google Voice number. That Google Voice number adds a layer of protection between myself and my personal cell phone number and my business. Now, if I do business with you and we, you know, continue to do business, I'm going to say, hey, here's my personal cell phone number. Reach out to me through that. But you have to build that connection with people first before I allow that to happen. Okay. Understood. Understood. Uh, one more question. Well, this ain't really a part of the, uh, the, the, the teaching and the learnings that I'm, uh, Gaining and writing down as I'm taking notes. Yes, sir. But how did you have a cell phone in 1998? Fuck you, okay? Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, Angela. Fuck you, Marlon. Steven, you're cool. Quentin, fuck you too, no. okay? Because you're laughing. 1998? <laughs> yes, bro. Everybody. So, so, look, bro, I, I am quick. older than you. So, so, Christopher, how old are you, sir? I'm 42. I mean, 41. No. Yeah, so shut up, Dash. Shut up. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I Hush. graduated high school in 98, right? And the whole thing was this. My mom, we moved out of the city. We moved out of Philadelphia 
to a small little city or small town in Delaware County, which is outside of Philadelphia. And to okay. be completely honest, right, this is what happened. When we moved to where we moved, my girlfriend at the time was still in Philly. And in order to call me at my house, it was long distance. So you remember how long ago that was. Right. So I got a cell phone with a 215 number so that she could call me without having to pay long distance. And we used in to spend, 19... You said what now? In 1998? Yes, dog. In 1998. Yeah, right. no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had nights and weekends. And we had free nights and weekends. Yes. Yeah, right. Hey, you know yeah. what? Y'all lives like up north and towards the east, so y'all get everything first before uh, the southern region of the United States do. Uh -huh. So when you said 98, a cell phone, I'm like, hold on. Them things wasn't really school. popping until 2000 down here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Yeah. Man, look, Marlon is cracking up. So quit the proof, man. I fold 12 in 98. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> no, I had a, a, it was a Qualcomm phone, okay? But no, nah, not to get off topic. Uh, 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 no, I appreciate his insight. I can literally give you the most important, um, if I can give you the most important thing that's going to build your business, because I have to I have to jump off because I know they're going to, they're finna call me in a few seconds, so I got to go. Um All right. The Man. most important information, the most important thing that I can tell you to help build your business. Um, when somebody is helping you out at the beginning of your business, when they're going out of their way to support you, be there with you, the ins and outs and everything, can you please kindly visit them at their house? And don't wait till three years go by before you go. Get <laughs> <laughs> oh man, uh, for some I reason I that. feel like, for some reason I feel like he shot a shot at somebody, and I'm glad it wasn't me. It was me. It was me. It was me. I, I mean, over there for me. <laughs> oh wait. Oh, I, but I you know what? I wasn't I trying to remove him. I'm sorry. That wasn't. That was not intentional. I wasn't no, trying that, to remove you. No, that but I can feel him on that though, cause I kind of got whisper the conversation before I would add it on. So yeah, man, I do got to point a finger at you, man. Like, yeah, uh, uh you you don't do that though. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, you supposed to been uh, I know showing appreciation and gratitude for real. Oh no, three no, no, years, no. but three years, Tr three Charlie, years. I, all right, that's so but well, so here's busy. the deal, right? He be he busy. He's so, he's, he's so busy to see his own cousin about that. He is so busy. Y'all done? He's so going to see Chris. No one will fool you. He is so a, this, is, this is a better route planner. It's not me. This is he is so busy <laughs> going to see <laughs> his own cousin. He is so busy getting pinballs. <laughs> Y'all did catch the pinball part, right? <laughs> Y'all got the pinball. We did. We heard it. We heard it. But see, part. the pinball was paid. Oh, she got to pay you to go see her? No, but I'm saying, I'm going to go get some money before I don't. Uh, ma hey, Marlon. Ooh. Ooh. I, 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 need, I need you to hook me up with your life. <laughs> Time probably to dash or something like that. Say that one more time. I need you to hook me up. To your live stream. With your live stream. Steven, I don't know. Brother, you Steven, out let Dash have Steven, that. brother, brother. I don't, so, I don't know if you're part of this. I, you know, it gets heated on his live streams, and I, I don't even, I won't say I don't even want to you know. What do you get heated have about? Big skin to be on his live streams. Like, they get Quentin just chill. <laughs> anyway, so Christopher, <laughs> Christopher, so, any other questions you have, or any other you know things that I can help you with? Because I feel like this is you know starting to break down because we are two hours and some change into this live stream. Oh, you say break down with us? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm gonna have my notification on for when you go live, and if I ain't behind the wheel of the truck or uh, 
cooking or anything. I'm sure so going to pop up. So are you a trucker? Are you a trucker that's going to, you know, you're starting your barbecue business? Is that what's going yes, on? Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. Where do, you, uh, where do you drive or what do you, do you do long haul or like day No, nah, I'm, uh, I'm I don't gotta do the long haul no more. I'm uh local, uh, okay. but I do go to. Uh, I probably the most I probably f travel outside of Dallas is like four hours, maybe. You know what I'm saying? So I'm home every day, and I'm off on the weekends. Okay. What do you cook? What do you cook? On the weekends. I cook. Uh, when you say what do I cook or when? No. What What do you what? cook? I cook brisket. I cook ribs. I cook uh turkey legs. I cook uh chicken. I do the links. Uh, he said the links. I, uh, yep. So let me know when you cooking next. I'm to make a plate. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna yeah, I'm about to hit you, hit you up on them links, bro. For real. That's a bit. That's a bit. That's a bit. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I tell you, I took in a lot tonight, and at the same time, I'm still working. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Uh, so Christopher, here go my little pig that I was stenciling out while y'all was uh. That's what's up, man. That's going it's on. Giving me the game or whatnot. I'm doing everything on my own. I'm finna, like, you know how them long horns be blowing out smoke whenever oh, yeah. they mad? Yeah. Well, this long horn is gonna be blowing out them pigs out his nose. You know That's what I'm saying? So, yeah. Uh, so, Christopher, trust me, I'm taking my time and my thought. I don't know if you heard the, the fact that I drove to Austin from Baltimore. You drove to Austin from Baltimore? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, to do what? Did. To but see the eclipse. But he can't do two hours. You know to do what? To see the eclipse <laughs> last week. Or two weeks. Yeah, last week. Just, ah, so you really wanted to see that thing? Yes. Yes. Why? Wow. Hey, I know wow. why. And dog. And, Chris, and Chris, no, I'm sorry, Chris. Bro. You, Chris. Bro, I'm so sorry. You, you didn't see the, you Did you see the eclipse, Chris? Chris you need to finish that. Yeah. Scene. I, 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 Everybody was making a big deal of it, so I pulled over and you know what I'm saying, and looked up in the sky, seeing, wow, the moon was in front of the sun. Okay, cool. Glasses? Uh, oh, you had glasses. All right, what else? Life got to nah. stop to see that. Have, yes, it's not yeah. even about life stopping. It's just, <laughs> it was just an experience, man. He's I, was, I mean, I don't knock it. I don't knock it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, yeah, it, it was a big old uh. The hoopla about that, you know what I'm saying? I was at work. Uh, I was, yeah, I was at work, but at the end of the day, I said, you know what? Let me go on and be a part of the hoopla. They say don't look at it without no glasses. I look straight up at it without glasses. You know what I'm saying? So they sold a bunch of glasses to people. I wish I was smart enough and uh, make, bought my own bulk of glasses and put Eclipse on them and sold them for 15 bucks. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I try not to get caught up in stuff like that. I ain't trying to be rude or whatnot. But yeah, some of that stuff that you can't explain, and yeah, you'll see another one. I see the moon in the sun, in the sun, in the sky very often. In the morning time, yeah, the sun to be trying to rise, and the moon to still yes, be sir. up there. Why yeah. we don't make a big deal out of that? They in the sky at the so, same time. Now here's the thing. Right now, I'll tell you this. I'm the type of person that when I'm on vacation, I get up and I watch the sunrise every day. Every That's what's day. up. That's what's right? up. So, I mean, I don't care how up, how late I'm up at night. <laughs> I will get up and watch the sunrise <laughs> on a daily basis. Okay. So I'm just going to remove the riffraff from the live stream <laughs> so that I can talk to you, Christopher. Because apparently Quentin is just bent on, you know, I. <laughs> <laughs> they mileage in kilometers, though, like in America. And just the, the website, it's not me. It's just how they do it on. No, is that is that ARBP? Yeah, it's ARBP. You have to go into the settings, dog, and change it. Come on, son. Oh, you don't have an EV, actually. I'm sorry. You don't know how that works. Is that what it is? Ah, oh, there we go. Anyway, so Christopher. <laughs> the way you <laughs> said that is the, the way you said your. Not to cut you off, but the no. way you, from what I get, the way you set your Instagram up, you oh, yeah. set it up as a, a business page off That's the muscle. It. That's it. That's it. So before you got into the hoopla of yep. everything, you just yep. you, you make take care of your business first, correct, and then and I, go. And and as of late, <coughs> because if you go back to the beginning of my Instagram page, you never saw who I was. You never saw a picture of me. You never saw a picture of anything other than food. 
That was it. And it took probably seven or eight years before I'm like, hey, if you see me out and about, come say hi. I'm the guy. I'm the barbecue man. Um, you know, I don't care if you call me the brisket dude. Hey, he's the dude with ribs. Oh, that's the bar. That's the meat man. I don't care what you call me. Just hit me up so I can bring you dinner. Because I have a personal Instagram page and I have my business Instagram page. And the two things don't intertwine. Okay. Okay. And and now, now recently, when I say recently, within the last six months, I started posting more pictures of myself, posting more pictures of things I'm into, posting other things than just barbecue, because I do more than barbecue. And the reason or how I got my start in the beginning, posting food on Instagram, posting, hey, I have this for sale. Instagram isn't like that anymore, where I can't just say I have food for sale. Who wants what? It just it that's just not the you know not the case. So because of that, I have to, you know, I kind of have to I won't say tailor it, but I will put other things out there to make sure I stay relevant. I stay in the mind's eye of, of the eighty four hundred followers I have. Now, mind you, eighty four hundred followers is nothing in the grand scheme of things. I'm still trying to get to that ten thousand mark, but I have to, you know, Instagram has changed how everything is happening or how everything is doing since when I started. So. All right, everybody. I have to jump off. Marlon, you be easy, sir. Thank you for hanging out. Y'all take care of yourself. I appreciate it. uh, Josh did go out of his way to make up from last week, so we'll probably see him somewhere around August, September. (laughs) <laughs> so, um, y'all so, go so, ahead. Please hit that like button. Yeah, I thank appreciate you. it. But I will see y'all all later. Love you all. Peace. <laughs> my, oh, on my camera. I don't know either. My whole laptop is acting funny. Man, what is the like button on this thing? You well, got to like Instagram. Yeah. Oh, so that's the whole thing. Um, you have to like it through YouTube. Okay, I'm on YouTube. So how I do that, y'all? Oh, uh, like so after it's over you, with. Pretty. I won't say when it's done. You can, but don't, man. Don't listen, Christopher. Here's the thing, right? When I do the the live streams like this, uh oh. Oh, because he tried to go out of it to like the. Yeah. Button. When I do. When I do the live streams like this, it's a little wonky, especially if you are in on this live stream. It doesn't show you everything the same as if you were on YouTube. So you would have to open a separate window. If you're on your phone, it's going to be kind of hard for you to do that. So what you can do is afterward, go out to my YouTube channel and just say, hey, you know, give it a thumbs up or or leave a comment or whatever. Um, But I mean, the, the main thing is this, right? And I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this, and this is one of those things that I, you are the second person to say to me specifically, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be motivated to, to start to get out there. And, and my whole thing is this, and I say the same thing, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm just a regular guy, man. And if I had the fortitude and wherewithal to say, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make my own economy. You can too. All right. And this is not just for you, Christopher. This is for anybody and everybody else who's out there that says, man, I wish I could be like him. You can. The whole thing is you just have to figure out how to make it work for you. Because the things that I did will not necessarily be 100% what you're going to have to do. You have to figure out how to make it work for you and make it work for you. And your environment, your, you know, your community, however you have to sell some food. I know there's people out there that are like, oh, I'm big into my church community. I sold food after after mass or I sold food after service. And that's how I got people to start buying my food. Whatever it is you have to do, do it. And then once you do it enough, the money is going to keep coming. And not only is the money going to keep coming People are going to inquire and ask you to start cooking for them. And then it's like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm not even motivated by myself cooking. People are motivating me to cook because I'm trying to get some money. 
I'm trying to get a couple extra dollars. And and it, it's a beautiful thing when when things start to fall into place. Um, but it's it is a grind. It is it is you know I, like I said, you know, you Christopher, how long have you been watching my channel or how? <laughs> uh, man, let me see. Listen, if I was to friends, get... you do nothing but cook. Stop lying. So listen, this this is one of my long time long term friends, and he knows I don't cook all the time. But it's one of those things where every time he's like, "Hey, let's do this," I'm like, "Yo, I gotta cook." Hey, let's do this, yo, I gotta cook. So that's why he's like, "You all, you don't do nothing but cook." Hmm. Yeah, they get now. Uh, if I have to guesstimate, it'll have to be at least a year and a half. Okay. At least a year and a half. Uh, sometimes I like don't get the log on because I be so busy driving and when I get through driving, I'm tired oh, uh, and I go straight to sleep or whatnot. Can hey. you set up your phone while you're driving to just listen? You don't have to watch. Nah, I can, I, I can actually do that. But the thing is, sometimes I'm local okay. and when I'm local, I'm in and out the truck. Yep. Yeah. More frequently, so yeah. it is. It's like pointless. Yeah, it's like I, I miss out on something. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I, I, I anytime I soak in something, I want to be able to sit down and soak it all in and not I miss you. anything. Well, I that's just type that. individual I am. That's what's up, man. I listen. I, I appreciate it. I, I listen. I, I tell you, I you know I appreciate that more than you more than you know. Like for real. That's um, got some questions. Hey, sure. Real quick. Christopher, have you so you want to do this professionally? Have you done like any like local barbecue oh, like community type? Uh, I was uh I was just holding my tongue, but I was gonna let uh Dash know that everything that he just said has already came to fruition for me. You know what I'm saying? Like people or I got a couple of events or catering to like a couple of parties coming up. Uh, I found me a location uh, to where I set up on Saturdays because when I get off of work on Friday nights, as soon as I get to the house, I'm firing up the pit. You know what I'm saying? I'm up all night uh, preparing to sell on Saturdays. Uh, it's been a, it's been a journey. It's been an experience. I'm just now getting to the point to where uh. Like my wife and my son, they come and help me out. So I'm like, you know what? They really not into the like the 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 the, the hustle part. Like you know where we at? Like man, if you see somebody, be like, hey, if you ever heard of Solid Hot Barbecue, man, come check them out. You know what I'm saying? Like being vocal about it. So I say, you know what? I need you whenever somebody come up here and it's their first time tasting my food. Ask them if you can get their reaction on video. That way Definitely. on Facebook, on, I posted on Facebook yeah. the following week, like, hey, Slaughterhouse, man, uh, the saga continues, and they be seeing people from all walks of life. You know what I'm saying? Not Absolutely. just my people. They see yeah. everybody, everybody, and everybody got the same reaction and be different. Some be funny, some hilarious, some like, like you know, uh, no, I got, I, I incorporate that, uh, Whenever somebody suggests, hey, uh, instead of just telling them what you have while you in the midst of chopping your stuff up, doing somebody order, man, you need to go ahead and get you a dry race board, put up what you got in the price stuff, so they already tell you what they want, so it won't slow you down. So I've incorporated that. Uh, I got a friend down in Houston. Uh, now just a short testimony, so to speak. Me and him had fell out, you know what I'm saying, for whatever reason, and uh, a tragedy had struck in his family, and uh. He reached out to me and we was talking, you know what I'm saying? It'd it been like four or five years since we actually talked. And he was like, uh, you know how tragedies always tend to bring people uh kind of close yeah, or whatnot. Yeah. So we were just chopping it up and uh he was like, But man, I ain't through through it all, man. I've been in touch, you know what I'm saying? I heard you got something on that barbecue. And I was like, Yeah, I say, man, I be doing it, you know what I'm saying? That's my passion, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's my call. I just gotta discipline myself to where I can save enough money to invest in myself and take off, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's my passion, man, you know what I'm saying? That's I ain't, the, like, that's like, thing right there, right? this so this I, what I do. I, I'll tell hey, you. Ask me a question, Dash, I, I hate to cut you off, because I know huh? you're way more into this than me. 
But with his, with his situation specifically, and being in Texas, yeah, you can call it what you want to, but the mecca it's of barbecue way easier. It's so it's yeah, exactly so way easier. And and so, and so and no, I, no, I was going no, I was no, going no, I was no, going to no, 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 make two points to you, Christopher. So the first point is. Being that you're in Texas, you have the ability to set up somewhere on the side of the road or on a gas station or in somebody's yard. That's much what I do. Easier than I do. And this is one of the things that a lot of people don't understand. Where I am in Baltimore, in Maryland, and in Baltimore City, right? I'm, 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 I'm layering that for a reason because there's so many more hurdles for me to set up a food truck or a food service business. Than mm-hmm. there are in Texas, because okay. in Texas, the the amount of people who are flocking to Texas, and there's not enough restaurants, there's not enough places for people to eat, there's not enough of this, there's not enough that, so they allow you to set up and sell food way easier. In okay. Maryland, the hoops that I have to jump through and the hoops that I still haven't completed ten years into this, ten years in, are. You have leapfrog where I am because I cannot, I cannot get a catering license. I cannot get a a food service without having a commissary kitchen. I can There's certain things that I can't do so that I don't. That's why I'm selling to you, the private person. I'm cooking for you, the private event, because I'm doing you a favor. And I'm just coming to cook. So I'm not at the same level where you are. There are lots of folks who have seen my videos, watched my videos, put the stuff that I have in practice and surpassed me because of my location. And that's, I won't say it's unfair, but that's the handicap. That's what I've been been dealing with. So when people come to me and they're like, well, what do you need to do X, Y, and Z? And I'm like, I can't tell you because I'm I'm basically on house arrest. Yeah, I mean, because I can't, there's certain things that I can't do. I can't afford to do. I, I don't want to do. And, you know, like one of the things that, that that boggles people when I tell them, I'm like, I don't sell food on the corner. I sell food only to individuals. I sell food only to people who reach out to me. I sell food only to, you know, people via Instagram. And they're like, y'all, man, just set up on the corner. It isn't the same way here. If I set up on the corner and a public health inspector comes and sees me, and sees what I'm doing, yo, not only can I be shut down, I can be permanently banned from doing anything. So I have to be very careful in what it is that I'm doing. And a lot of people don't understand that. So when I see people like you, Christopher, who are like, yeah, man, I'm selling at this or I'm selling at that. And I got a spot and I'm like, damn, in order for me to have a spot set up, I have to go in front of city council. I have to go in front of the health board, I have to make sure I have some sort of, you know, commissary kitchen. There's so many other things that are involved that there's a laundry list of things that I would have to have. And it's just one of those things that people don't understand. You know, you're like, oh, just like I was talking earlier about buying beer and and, and wine, well, buying beer and wine at a gas station or at a Walmart where you can just go in and anywhere in Texas and find beer. That's not the same case in Maryland. It's regulated where you can only get it from certain places. Oh, look at his face. Look at his face. <laughs> but but that's the reality I'm dealing with. That's not the same reality as probably 98, 99% of everybody else who's doing barbecue. And this is what makes it hard for me to be able to stay on. Um, I mean, not stay motivated, but to but to say you can do it too when I can't do it myself. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> it, it, it's deep because now it's like, homie, you, 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 you have no excuse right now. Me or you? No, myself. <laughs> I have no excuse. I mean, and I'm, I'm not saying not to say that I don't have an excuse either, but the hurdles I have to jump are, yeah. I, and I'll be completely honest with you. It's not that the hurdles that I have to jump are higher. They're just more expensive. Yeah. Because Maryland, this is what Maryland does. Everything that you have to do in Maryland, they want they, Maryland wants they cut. Everything. Everything. 
<laughs> so, Christopher, you said you cook brisket and what else again? <laughs> uh, re ribs, uh, turkey legs. Uh, down here we got the links called Smoky Denmarks that uh is well uh known that's a favor amongst people. And sometimes when I cross over to go to Louisiana to uh, Shreveport, I pick up their links and their uh, smoke sauces because Louisiana, uh, to me, that's like the mecca Real. of seasoning, perfect mm -hmm. seasoning. You know what I'm saying? I'm and so, uh, that yeah, yeah I, I mess with their meats, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they know what they're doing. Uh, uh, chicken. Uh, uh, what a baked potatoes, nachos. Uh, All right. Let me, so I asked that to ask this question here. So if if I'm coming to where you are, and I yes, message Instagram and I say, "Hey, it's me and fifteen of my coworkers. We're coming in town. We need a lunch to put together for the fifteen of us. There are no dietary restrictions whatsoever. What you going to do? What can you offer us? What can I offer? What, what, what meats y'all want? How many meats y'all want? One, two, or three? I and when I say one, two, or three, I'm... so this is this is one of those things where somebody's putting the decision in your hands, and you have to figure out what they're going to eat. So you can say, well, if if if, if y'all if y'all hungry, if, if you depend on me to uh pick for me to tell y'all what y'all want, y'all gonna want that brisket. Y'all gonna want them ribs. Y'all gonna want them links. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's what you want. So that's solid. And, so if you're gonna give us that, the links and the brisket, and the ribs, and, and the ribs, yeah, please, please make sure the ribs are there for, for your boy. <laughs> so you got, so you have me and my corporate crew there for the lunch. Correct. Going, so what are you gonna make besides the meat? Because we need other things else. What else? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have your bread. You're gonna have your beans. You're gonna have your homemade potato salad and. Whatever I'm in the mood to make for a dessert, I'm gonna make it homemade. You know what I'm saying? I do strawberry banana pudding. I do peach cobbler. Uh, I bake cakes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you gonna get your dessert and you are gonna get your drink. Now, you know dash, what I'm saying? Dash. So the the so I understand what you're saying, and uh, trust me, me being from Georgia, brother, I'm with you. I can <laughs> I'm having a good time right now. For sure. My like coworkers from up here in Maryland. They're gonna be like, yo, we need like obviously the meat and like all these sides to go with it. So, what else can you offer on the side that can go with this besides the bread and besides the beans? Like, what else? You said potato salad, potato oh, salad, potato salad, a uh, homemade dessert, oh. homemade dessert, and whatever your choice of drink is that I have in the cooler. Whether it be uh water, I'm, I'm, I'm having a great time. Get you a Topo Chico, dog. Mm -hmm. I'm what? like, hold on, can we can we go back to this strawberry banana pudding? Because I, I and <laughs> I was not gonna skip over that. Like, I'm, I'm in love I'm, right I'm now. Right there. I'm not gonna skip over that. Let's go over. No, like no, nah, not and I'm I'm just not talking neither. Like I'm, yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna bring to the table. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Chris. I need you to stand up. I need to see your belly, dog. I, you know, we we got to see the proof. Strawberry banana. Pudding. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I've never heard of strawberry banana pudding though. So hold on. Hold on. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, Christopher. You you know What's you ain't you ain't got me convinced yet, dog. <laughs> I ain't got you convinced, huh? <laughs> Uh, I need to uh, all going to your beard, huh? That's, that's a sign. That's a sign. Hey, now what I need to do then? I yeah. really need to see if my wife's still up and see if oh. uh she can uh let me borrow a phone and go to the Facebook page okay. so you can see the taste and re so what's the taste Facebook reaction. Page? I'm gonna check it out on Facebook, dog. Uh, Christopher Slaughter. Okay. Hold on, but I I like what what is in the strawberry banana pudding? Like are you you like uh, is it like strawberry and, and pudding with bananas in it, and then the cooking? Uh, basically, what I do, uh, you know, what I'm saying I make it from scratch. You know, what I'm saying because real banana pudding is baked before it is cooled down. You know, what I'm saying so I'm gonna make my own. You know, what I'm saying strawberry pudding or whatnot from scratch, and I'm gonna. Put it in the oven, lay it up. You know what I'm saying? Put it in the oven, let it do what it do. And when it get 
tub. When it get come out the oven, I put it in the ice box, let it chill. And then after it chill, the next day is when I slice the bananas. Okay, okay, okay. okay stop, 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 stop before you give your secrets away. Because I think you're saying a lot. My next question, you, you, I, I honestly, the dessert may be more your thing because this. Hold on, I just need to know if the vanilla wafers are in there. No, like you, hey, hey, you can't take the man secrets. You right, can't so, take the secrets. So hold on one second. Christopher, are you originally from Waco? Born and raised. All right, so I found you. So I'm gonna ask Yes, you. sir. Right. Uh what's the profile picture like? It's a little kid. No, nah, uh Facebook. Yeah, that's it. That's me. That's me. Yeah, that's me. That's that big, your big ass head. That's your big ass head from when you that's was a kid. Yes, that's me when I was a little boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I hear you, man. A million Toys R Us. So, so, so Christopher, what are you cooking on? I, like, I just need to know if there's vanilla wafers. You stop for real good at part. You can't. Like, you can't there's vanilla wafers or the Oreos. Like, what's in this? Like, I'm just stuck. Don't do Putting, it. Putting uh, the vanilla wafers in the uh, bananas. Okay. All right. Yeah, I didn't need to know the whole making process. I just needed to know the. Yeah, that's me, right, Joe. So you got that's me. Christopher. You should you 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 gonna find them uh people reacting for the first time tasters or whatnot. Uh, I've also kind of uh. Oh, you gotta. I guess you gotta accept me, Christopher. So my government name is Scott. So you know later, not not. Got right it. Now. That's a bit. Done yeah. deal. Done oh, yeah. deal. I got a reaction. Hold up. Hold up. What's? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's so tender. Oh, so tender. Thank you. I can't see you. Go right ahead. She's the size of trust and judgment. Oh, he had gum too. Oh, look, he had to spit his gum out. Oh, my God. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. Real good? Yeah. Christopher. Now he went back for a second. So, <laughs> Christopher, you say your old name. You know you guys are looking good. <laughs> look. So what's the name of Facebook? I'm so, I'm sorry. Christopher Slaughter. Okay, can you so Christopher, my I won't say my advice, but the thing is, I want you to separate your name to your business name and okay. start posting a little bit more about your business because people are gonna know you because of your business, not necessarily because of you. Um, if that makes sense. Um, make perfect so, sense. So the whole thing is you got to get your business out there and put stuff in your business name. And, you know, just just like, you know, your wife was like, Christopher, you know, she needed to be saying Slaughterhouse Barbecue on X, Y, and Z corner. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because the whole thing is people are going to remember Slaughterhouse Barbecue on X, Y, Z corner. And you want people to keep saying that same thing over and over and over. Right, um, right. you know, my, my whole thing is I started in, in Steel Drums, so that's why I call my company Steel Drum Smokers Barbecue. I had someone reach out to me today and they're like, Hey, I want your Steel Drum band. Um, you might be mistaken, I don't have a band, I cook barbecue or I started my barbecue business in Steel Drums. Now, if you want mm -hmm. some barbecue, here's my webpage, but I'm not going to say, Oh, you have the wrong information, I'm still going to plug my business. Yeah. So, so, so same thing. The only reason uh, Stephen follows you is because he thought you had a, a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, still paying? Okay, cool. Stephen's he sleep. <laughs> he sleep. He's not paying attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> Look there. He will, we woke him up because we, we started talking about him. <laughs> no, I'm Thank you, Stephen. I appreciate that because, my God. Huh. Well, but Christopher, man, best of luck to you. Like, seriously, you are, you got, you got a leg up with me because you have a spot where you're selling your food. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like I used to, and you know, my grind was I would cook food and sell it to people via Instagram and I was delivering food to people. So I was getting extra money by, by charging for delivery. Right. Um, you got people coming to you, which is fantastic. Um, 
but obviously that's that's a little more work cuz you have to make sure stuff is prepared and ready for yada yada so but i mean so. dude best of luck to you man for real um like like and i'll tell you one thing too when i was when i was in austin um jamie like we were we were headed to dinner and she's like listen we are where we are because of you and i'm like what do you mean she's like we saw you or, or marcus found you during the pandemic when he he was a, a carpenter and he didn't have any work he couldn't work so he's sitting at home watching tv and he found youtube and when he found youtube he went down a rabbit hole where he started watching one thing and then he started watching another thing and he found barbecue and he found my channel and he spent days days watching me and my channel to the point where Jamie's like, are you watching that dude on YouTube again? Are you still watching that dude on YouTube? And then it got to the point where he was like, I could do this. Let me go ahead and get this together so I can do boom, boom, boom. And he put it together and then was able to start selling barbecue. And then after, I don't know, six months, a year, that's when I went to go visit him, them in, in, um, in Texas, in Austin. And the whole reason why, funny, and the whole reason why um, he reached out is because Jamie had a question. His wife had a question about chopped chicken or or pulled chicken. And I was like, oh, they reached out via Instagram, okay? Or she reached out via Instagram. And I answered her question, and we were going back and forth. And I'm like, yo, all right, I'm, I'm, this is getting to be too much, right? Just, just answering the questions. I said, here's my number. Give me a call. And when I spoke to Marcus, I ended up talking to Marcus for like two hours. And he's telling me all the videos he watched and how to do this and how I do that. And he's asking questions and this, that, and the other. And I'm just, you know, we having a conversation. Like, like I know him from, you know, one of the homies from back and around the way, right? And to the point where I gave him the confidence by just answering his questions from my experience that they were able to go off and start running and do it. And to the point now where they have a much more successful business than I do because of where they are. And I swear it's the, it's the, it's the location that has helped him out help. And, and same thing for you, help you out because I'm, you know, I'm seriously, I'm on house arrest in comparison to you being, you know, able to just, I want to say go and free will and, and sell anything you want. So, you know, like I said, th- you're not the first person to tell me the same thing. Like, yo, if it weren't for you and your videos, I wouldn't be where I am, or I wouldn't have gotten to the point where I am, and I'm just like, it's astounding. Like I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm humble in the, the fact that I'm like, man, look, I'm a regular guy, and I, you know, I'm the same person as I'm sitting here talking to you, and Quentin can tell you, and Angela can tell you, I'm the same person in person that I am online. It's just I, I tell you, I curse more in person than I do online I do in my videos. Oh uh, yeah, we gonna get along just fine. Shoot, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Square is, uh, oh yeah listen so my buddy uh, this is my buddy roger roger is another one of the people who owns steel drum smokers um you know uh t-shirts and or shirts because he's helped me at events um i, I do ship food as well so okay uh, yeah yeah grumpus grumpus says market 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 and you know here's grumpus with his marketing Okay. Grumpus is in Texas. Okay. Oh yeah. Grumpus is in. Grumpus is in Houston. Mm-hmm. I be I be coming. Uh, sometimes I have to make trips to Houston. So okay. yeah, got to make that happen. Mhm. <laughs> yeah, that's some that's their branding right there. Grumpus says, well, "Ask that's what's in his rub." My fingers. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I ain't gonna ask nobody what they do to their meat. <laughs> I, I listen. <laughs> well, what they do to the food, it, they it, it, how they prepare their food. Do. I'm not gonna ask that. So I uh, I, I messed up saying it like that, but yeah, <laughs> how they prepare their food. You good? I'm telling you. So barbecue is full of innuendo, and you know once you you use that to your advantage because. That's when you start being like, oh man, what your, your wife enjoys what it is? Oh man, what she put my meat in her mouth? She ain't, oh man, what? <laughs> nah, see, I can't do that because uh yeah, she 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 she's something else. Yeah, she's something else. I can't I can't go that far. 
And I can't go that far. Cause uh, hey, if I could, if I could, I have a bad apron to say, uh, if you put my meat in your mouth, I bet you swallow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have Type a shirt stuff. that says that. What it says my shirt says, once you put my meat in your mouth, you're gonna want to swallow. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. See, if, if I wear a shirt like that, I might well sign them papers. <laughs> <laughs> Here, no, 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 no. Is, she, is, she, is your wife Latina? No, no, oh, no. Okay. She, she, she wears Dallas all the way. Oh, I'm, mm. <laughs> man, we're gonna pray for you, son. <laughs> do that, do that, do that, do that. So, oh, man. All right, well, look, Christopher. You know, it's been it's been a pleasure, man. Definitely appreciate you coming out and hanging out. I'm 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 glad you were able to join us. Um, you know, my cousin Angela, who you know, she doesn't. I don't know. She she's she's the bestest. She really. I'm is. trying to figure out how did you point right at her, like you looking at a screen and know exactly where she is. Point. Because the whole thing is, I've been I've been doing this a little while, where I can say, all right, you know, there's Quint, there's um Stephen down there, there's Angela wow. over there. And 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 there's Christopher there. That's what's, I've been, That's what's up. I've been doing this quite a while where I have it, and I don't know if you you missed it because I went like I I went like this, and I was like boom. So there's Angela, and the whole thing was I I used my finger and I pointed, and then by the time I called her out, that's when I actually you know I said it. So I'm trust me, there's little tricks, and and one of the other things too is, and I don't have my sunglasses here, but if I had sunglasses that were uh, like mirrored. Or you couldn't see my eyes, I would be looking at like right now. I'm looking at Angela and you know to see her reaction, but you can't really see because you know my pupils are hidden through the the, re the reflection of the screen. Um, so mm. there's there's lots of different uh, tricks and things like that that I do with the camera. Um, but mind you, I've been putting videos on YouTube for almost ten years as well. So. When I, when I, I, I can't wait to learn that. I can't wait to learn that because I'm a character in real life, though. Yeah. <laughs> As you character. can see, I am too. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I tell you, just like I, I told I, I told everybody earlier today, um, Jamie said, I've never met a stranger. Um, and just as just as easy as I'm talking to you right now, look, see, I pointed the wrong way. You see, you see this one, this one right there talking. To, she's like she, She's shaking her head. No. He's still no. friends. He'll talk to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> like, listen, I can't help it if I'm personable and people like me. No, okay. you're still friends. He's still friends. Like, whole steals them. No, nah, but this trips. was uh, nah, this was what's up, though. Uh, I appreciate y'all for real. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Christopher, it's, 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 it's us who, I is, well, I won't say I it's didn't, us, it's me hole. I am like who appreciates. <laughs> <So> <laughs> she, she like, look, just go ahead and send him the, the, the recipe so he can send it to me, and then I'll be happy. We'll make it together. Maybe me and Angela should make it together. How about that? Uh, Y'all should do that. I no, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I am like, oh. I'm all yeah, I'm gonna do that though. And, and it's Absolutely. way and it's easier no. than what you think. Grumpy says looking at the screen, Angela doesn't seem that far away. I know it's like almost I could touch her. Like go mm -hmm. ahead, go ahead, Angela. Put your point point to the to the left. Come on. Oh, all right, yeah. to the right. A little oh, lower. Man. There you go. Oh yeah. Oh, we're like the ET. Ooh. Now is that <laughs> ET or Mac and me? ET, ET, we you know, ET. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, oh man, listen. Grumpus says Dash is good people. Ignore what everyone else says. Ten four, I, I do that for sure. <laughs> Thanks, Grumpus. Though you know, uh, look. I, I, I oh, found boy. one that looks good. And... All right, look. So you guys definitely. Um, I appreciate you helping me out. Um, and, and Christopher, really nice meeting you. Thank you again for, for taking the time and hanging out with us, asking great questions and, and spurring on the conversation. This is this is what makes the, these live streams where I'm talking to people live. This is what makes these live streams. This is what, oh, yo, you know what we haven't done the entire time? Shout out to Bumpy. Shout out to Bumpy. 
Shout out to Torin. Yo, shout out to Torin. So you know, you know what's crazy? I, I'm I won't say I met up with, but I linked up with Torin, who is one of the folks who re-watches the live streams afterward. I met him in, in Nashville and I met Torin before. So Torin and his wife Angel, you know, just 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 shout out to those two. Thank you so very much for always re-watching. And Torin, make sure you you tell your wife that I shouted her out. You know, three hours and seventeen minutes into the live stream, Bumpy. You know, Bumpy is the president of the rewatch gang, so Bumpy be easy. And then hit last one, Marcus. I know Marcus is probably to the point where he's sitting down and he's finished getting his brisket trimmed and rubbed, getting his ribs trimmed and rubbed, getting the pork belly trimmed and rubbed. And depending on the day, he might have done some salmon, but. Definitely, you know, shout out to Marcus because, you know, I, I've seen the process and, you know, I, I know he's he's sitting on his bucket right now with a with a uh, what is it? A, a natty. Uh, no, a bush natural light. And, you know, just just hold it up and, and just send me a text message like, yo, you didn't call me out on a live stream because that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> By the time this 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 thing happens. So. But thank you guys, uh, Angela, Stephen, and Christopher. It was really nice meeting you and uh, you know chopping it up with you. Um, the next time I'm in Texas, I'll I'll try to let folks know. And you know it would be fantastic if you could get to wherever I am. Most likely to be Austin, just because I have you know folks that are willing to put me up, and I don't have to pay for a hotel. <laughs> so um, you know we can we can we, you know chop it up, and you can come and hang out. One of the things too that I, I enjoyed while I was in Texas, but when I drove. I took some of my pew pews with me, so you know if you into that, we can we can definitely. Oh yeah, some of your who? The 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 pew pews. We can't say the the G U N S word. The pistols, the rifles. Oh yeah, yeah. And now he's got it. Now he's got it. <laughs> now he's got it. So you know, if you willing. We can link up and we can go to a range or something like that. You know, we have a good old time. So one Most of the definitely. videos that's coming up is uh, Marcus and I did two range days while I was out there. So, you know, more to come. But um, <laughs> Quentin's funny. He said three years from now when I'm back in Texas. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end it here because, you know, um, I got to get to bed because I got to get up early in the morning. But really can't say thank you guys enough. Uh, Jimmy, who was here earlier. Marlon, who was here earlier. Quentin, who was here. Nice to meet you, Christopher. Nice to meet you, sir, Mr. Cooker with S and J. I see the yeah. bound in the back. I so can't wait you, to finish mine. Yeah, so if you if you ever get to Trinidad, you got to look up Stephen. Um, actually, before you even get to Trinidad, so Stephen, post your channel for, for um, Christopher so he can, you know, see the, the, the Trini cook. Because Steven is different. Like, Steven does things differently. And he's got an interesting take on doing barbecue with what he has. And that is fantastic with what he has. So it's him and his daughter that have their barbecue channel. And it was so tasty. <laughs> I think I've heard that before. No BS. <laughs> In a shorts or something. I, I but now, what is it? I'm ready to write it down right now. Uh, cooking with S and J. So cooking with S N letter N J. So cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline. It's a bit. So, so Stephen is posting. He's gonna put the link in the chat. So what you can do is um you you can go probably back out to the YouTube video and click on the link and it'll probably take you to his channel or you just do a search for cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline or or cooking with S and J. And you'll see them. And when I say you definitely a video you need to definitely see is when he makes his green sauce, make yourself some green sauce, put it into a jar and, you know, save that. And then also I sent Steven one of my shirts years ago. <laughs> so <Sure>. you, <laughs> it took him a year to get it <laughs> from when I sent it. Seven months, seven months. <laughs> seven months. A year is closer to seven months than, you know, one month is. So it took him a year to get it. <laughs> But um, the whole thing is, um, but definitely check out his channel. And I mean, he's he's doing a different thing. His the way he does 
his cooks, the way he does his cooking is different than a lot of folks yeah. where they are in front of the camera. Now, Steven has gotten a lot more comfortable over the years, but in the beginning, he was like, I want you to see the food and I might talk about it. And he's gotten a lot more comfortable where he's on camera. So I just want to give him props because he's come a long way from, from the beginning cool. where definitely got more comfortable with it. So anyway, yeah. all right. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and, and end it for real this time. Have a safe weekend until we meet again next week Wednesday. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, Angie. Sir. See ya. See ya. Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. Be easy. Peace.